It's rain world time. Whoo! That's the intro. Let me fuck my mic filters. Mic filters. Hang on. There we go. We're back, baby. <clears throat> okay. So to address the allegations. Yes, this is a Saturday. I cannot stream tomorrow, so we're streaming Saturday. Yes, I streamed two days ago. That was an extenuating circumstance because of the PAX recap. Um, yes, I have to do another PAX recap, and I was going to do that today, but um, I didn't. there weren't as many demos left as I thought. There weren't enough to do a stream, and I hadn't gotten... Um, I was still waiting on one to be sent in by one of the devs, so that can't be done. Um, yes, this is a Spearmaster run and not Gormander Artificer. Um, I'll explain that later. There is no schedule. There never has... Well, recently there hasn't really been a stream schedule. Normally I do streams on Sundays, but there's been a lot of interruptions the last few weeks. Uh, I'll get back to the Sunday streams as we go, but for now it's whatever. We'll be fine. Um... Okay, yeah, I'll explain the Spearmaster choice um, as we get into this. Let me boot up the actual game first, though. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Rain World. Let's go. Yeah, so let me explain the stream lore. I have actually done a Gourmand playthrough off stream. Uh, technically off-stream, kind of not off-stream. <laughs> um, so, when I finished the Survivor campaign, my mindset was that, that is that is Rain World, Rain World is done, it's over, I've streamed it, and I'll play the rest off-stream if I want. Um, and I started to do that with a Gourmand run, but then I sort of got the itch to, uh, to share it. Like, something about this game, I really enjoy streaming specifically, but I'd already started the run. I didn't want to commit to actually properly streaming it. So what I ended up doing is I streamed the entire campaign basically um, just as random, you know, uh, unannounced Discord streams just in the voice chat of my Discord server, usually at like the wee hours of the morning, 4 a.m. Rain World streams. <laughs> and those had like a very small but dedicated audience and I enjoyed them a lot, but um, I couldn't keep doing that, of course. Like, I had to just properly stream it eventually. So, we're back. We've done Gourmand. I have not done Artificer, but I was recommended to do Spearmaster next because it would have more uh, Iterator Blorbos, and I enjoy those a lot. Um, so, yeah, we're back. Let me get the game up. Hang on. Um, game Capture, Rain World... I hope my voice lasts, because I was streaming two days ago for quite a long time, and also last night. Um, it, I feel okay for the moment, though. Rain World. Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. This is the, um, the Outer Expanse area that I saw last time on stream. Um, okay, so how's the chat doing? I see the usual suspects. Toby's here, Outsin's here, Mel is here. Glad you got to see this Mel. He missed the one last night. I wonder if Wonder is going to show up. <laughs> she's been the one, she's been like my living GPS system during the uh, the Gourmand secret Discord streams. But, uh. Oh, there you are! Hey, Wonder. Okay, I'll have to memorize your new profile picture on YouTube here because, uh. I'll, I'll still take your GPS notes to some extent, but I'll have to read them from the chat now. Okay. It's me, you know me, right? Oh, I know you. I was waiting for you to join the stream, you. Okay. Uh, let's go. I'm excited to start Spearmaster. Uh, the title's not a joke. Like, I really have just wanted to play more of this game since I finished it. This game really uh, struck a chord with me in a way that most games don't. Okay, there's Artie. Uh, we'll see them later. There's Rivulet. We'll also see them later. Spearmaster, here we go. A new obsession? It's a bit of an obsession. It's nothing like a Deltarune or Undertale level, but it's like... I just really enjoy, um... 
I don't know, the world has built itself up to a point where I enjoy spending time in it. It's one of those kind of games. I want to learn more about the, uh, the characters and the lore. Actually, should I go back and recap? There was two lore pearls I found in the Gourmand campaign in the Sky Islands that I... They're new to the stream, so maybe I should go back and recap those. Um, and I've not done Hunter, by the way. Hunter, I've decided it's not going to be good to stream, or at least it'll be the very last one I stream. Because um, it could potentially be take forever, like I might never actually finish the run. Because <laughs> Hunter is, if you don't know, it's like a timed campaign that you can actually fail and have to restart. It's very difficult. Uh, where's my pearls? Time to pearl clutch for a bit. Uh, was it this one? Yeah, I think this is one of them. So, yeah, th these were two pearls I took to Blue Bow off stream from the Sky Islands. <clears throat> so let's read them quick. Oh, this one is all plain text. It's an excerpt from an iterator conversation group. So we got 1650.787, closed group conversation, sliver of ocean. Uh, this is a Discord group chat. Sliver of ocean group, all participants anonymous. Um, so we have... That one, Homestuck, Cherub, UU. I forget what her screen name was. Ha, huh, I wouldn't necessarily disagree. Uh, and then NGI comes in and is trolling. We literally have a Discord raid happening between iterator groups. Uh, Sliver of Straw was a traitor to the cause. Sliver of Straw broke the self-destruction taboo. How did this idiot get in here? Kick them out. Okay, then NGI was banned from the Discord chat. EP says, I think they had a point. Hmm, really? Elaborate. Uh, oh, this is, yeah, EP is Erratic Pulse, which I believe is Five Pebbles' alt account? I'm not sure what the lore behind that is yet, but I think that's actually Five Pebbles here. Um, it was definitely coming from an idiotic state of mind, but there is something to it. Why is it that even in a closed Sliverous group, the self-destruction taboo is held so high, while Sliver of Straw herself, evidently, is not among us anymore? Wait, now. I'm just saying that for all the research we're doing, all the theories we have, it's strange that we'd leave this path untrod. It's not a new idea, but it needs to be vented occasionally. Oh. Yeah, vented. He really did say vented. He's just venting in the group chat, damn it. What if there is no universal solution? What if perception is, in fact, existence, and when Sliver of Straw sent the triple positive, it was not a mistake? What if crossing oneself out, even just death, is the way? We need to consider that possibility. Okay, so basically we have Five Pebbles is arguing through an alt account in a, a group chat that maybe killing yourself isn't so bad after all. Maybe we should just be trying to off ourselves to escape the uh, Samsara. And we already know how Five Pebbles feels about, you know, self-destruction. He gave himself brain cancer trying to uh, end his own life. It was very, very sad. Um, so that was probably before he tried that plan. Among Us, yes, correct. Okay, what was the second pearl? Oh, I think it was this one. I think this was the second pearl. I remember this. It isn't pleasant reading, but if you must hear it, this is what it says. 1654.116, Private Forced. Big Sis Moon, Five Pebbles. So this is um, Blue Bow reading her own message here. She sent this to Five Pebbles as a forced communication. Immediately lower your groundwater consumption to one-fifth of the current intake. Stop whatever it is you're doing. Please stop. As your local group senior, I order you, 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 you. As your senior, I plead. Stop. You could not have chosen a worse moment to disturb me. You have ruined everything. Please. I almost had it. I will not forget this. So Five Pebbles is being a real asshole here. I didn't realize when I found this pearl that, like, Five Pebbles, it was such a, like, a, a deliberate action. Like, he really was just slurping up all the groundwater, which was killing looks to the moon. And so, like, this was essentially 
right, this is how he got the rot, I think, right? It was like right as he was in the middle of his experiment, which was um, sucking up all the groundwater to um, try to create the, whatever it was, the self-destruction taboo altering virus. Uh, blue forces of communication says, please fucking stop. I'm dying. You are killing me. Uh, and then Five Pebbles is distracted, he fucks up, and, like, this creates the rot. Um, and so they both, essentially, are doomed now. It's the worst possible outcome. So that's really sad, and I don't like it, and I kind of feel bad for making Blue Boy read that, but, you know, it's the lore. You gotta know the lore. Okay, Th that's a quick recap. Let's play the Spear Master. There was, by the way, um, JD, one of my Discord mods. Oh, look at this. This is where you start, apparently, huh? Okay. Um, he made a, a mod for the game that would turn the Skug into a little funny Tesla-themed Skug. It was based on the designs of some of the, uh, uh, the fan art during the streams, which I'll probably install for the next stream, but I didn't have time this morning. I was already in a rush because I had to change plans last minute. Um, we'll get the Tesla Skug in here. Okay, so right off the bat, I don't know where I am. I am Spear Master. There is a new um, Iterator Overseer, an orange one that I don't recognize. We didn't get that much new lore from Five Pebbles in the Gourmand campaign, by the way. He basically just called me fat and told me to get off his property. It was it was not a pleasant interaction. He's like, you're you're too rotund to uh, transcend. Just just leave, and he kicked me out. Then I went back to the tree from the start of the game. Hold the pickup button to pull needles from your body. Ew. So this is the um, the gross mutant skug that pulls spears from his tail. Wee. This is a new area. I've never been here before. Oh, what? How did I get it stuck there? What the fuck? The purple skug has no mouth. Yeah, apparently this one doesn't uh, eat normally. I think it literally just you you siphon blood from the needles or something gross like that. It's probably not a naturally created organism. Okay, this is going to be a bit difficult. So it doesn't appear to consume hunger even to pull it a needle. That's interesting. It's just a freebie. Oh yeah, you can see the gross umbilical cord from the needle. That's unpleasant. How does it feel to be a cat-shaped sniper mosquito? It feels great. I like this guy already. Ouchy ouch. Hmm, not high enough. Two dollars from, uh, oh, Ave Meditarselia, Ave Meditarselia Enthusiast, I remember you, I think. Holy scug, Andrew Cunningham, that's me. I'm doing Rain World again. I said I probably wouldn't, at least not for a while, but uh, the streams have been kind of chaotic recently, and really I just wanted, I just want to play Rain World. I just have to admit that to myself. Oh. Okay, this is a cutscene. <laughs> you hate the Spear Master noises. Oh, they're not that bad. Slurp. Can I do two? Ooh, I can dual wield spears. Cool. I am the Spear Master. You'd, you'd hope so. Okay, let's try the one up here. Very dexterous. Is he shitting those? Pretty much. They come out of uh, holes on his tail. Oh, he's really fast, actually. I don't recall being able to slide through pipes this quickly as Gourmand, at least. I'm not sure how he is compared to Survivor. I think Gourmand might be slower overall. Do we have a cycle timer? Yes. There's not many pips, even. I, sh I should... Be quick here. I need to find shelter. 
Uh, probably by going up there I can find shelter. Oh, that wasn't a very good throw. Huh. Root? You love to see it. Uh, interesting. Five hunger? I think that's the same as survivor, but I have... Oh wait, I probably can't eat the fruit, can I? That's going to be revealed here. Iterator's up. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do with the fruit. <laughs> He's just confused by it. Okay. So that's your tutorial for how to uh, not play Spearmaster. Born of root and void. Uh, yes, probably. Probably like born of genetic experimentation. Uh, more so than that. Probably an iterator did it, right? The ancients aren't around anymore. There's probably just some iterator who wanted a slug cat like this for some reason. And made one. Okay, can't go that way. Boing. Part of the skill set of this game is just like learning to intuit where poles are when you literally can't see them. It's a surprisingly big part of the game. Spearmaster has a lot of hidden lore outside the pearls. I'm not sure what that could mean at the moment. Okay, I'll, I'll try going up, Mr. Uh, Overseer. Just hang on. Oh, I can't... I can't get any higher from this side, though. Well, that doesn't help at all. Damn it. This looks like the filtration system, which is the last place I want to be after finishing the Gourmand playthrough. I saw plenty of the filtration system. More so than I ever want to see again, perhaps. There you go. Uh, is this open space, or, or what? Touch the weird plants. They give you lure. Alright. Okay, shelter. Perfect. Food and shelter. Whoa, that's cool. That's awesome. I just directly suck the life force from the popcorn plant. I don't get as much, though, as I would just by eating it, which is a bit unfortunate. Schlorp. Yucky. That umbilical cord is going to make me a bit queasy if I think about it too hard. I'm just going to try not to do that. Uh, okay, how do I get over there? I could spear ladder all the way up, I guess. Maybe that's the play. I get these for free. Okay, put down the fruit. Shlorp. Does the audio sound weird to anyone else? Weird how? I'm... The mix settings are normal. I put the filters back on. Should be fine. Okay, audio is fine. The experienced stream viewers seem to think there's no issue. It's weird the, the needles turn black within seconds, it's like, it's kind of odd. They just age rapidly, it's sort of like a white coating that wears off. Probably best not to think about it. Oh, well, that didn't work at all. Slurp. Kind of sounds like... Killing Velcro or something. Turtle update. Oh, you saw the turtle! Nice! You saw him eating miscellaneous plant matter this morning. Is the turtle something you pass just when you're out and about, like the turtle pond is just nearby? That'd be quite nice. The famous turtle. Oh, there's pickles. You don't understand why you're playing Rain World, we already ha live in Rain World IRL. It doesn't rain that much here. It's not like Prince Rupert or something. 
In fact, if it, I wish it was raining a bit more here, because then maybe some of the fucking forest fires in the interior could get put out. I knew people who, uh, their, like, family's houses were burning down actively. <laughs> Not the best over here. Ooh, take the- ooh, is that a colored pearl, or is that just a fake one? That might be a colored pearl, I have to eat it. Oh. I don't have a mouth. Mmm. Fuck. I'm gonna have to come to terms with this, uh, this disability here. I literally don't have a mouth to store the pearl in. This is gonna be a lot more difficult. Uh, do you have any advice, Mr. Iggy Overseer? Which way should I be going? The pearl's a huge handicap? Well, that's what I'm all about. This is how I play this game. I handicap myself with pearls. <laughs> Wait a minute, I wonder if I, uh... Wait, that it deflected? I was trying to hit the fruit with the spear and, like, siphon its juice. Does that work? It bounces off like it's made of metal. That's probably not gonna work then. Okay, where's my pearl? The fruit are as hard as rocks. Yeah, what's wrong with this fruit? How much lore have I learned? Um, not a huge amount. Like, I learned that a couple pearls that I read at the start of the stream that I found as Gourmand. Uh, Gourmand doesn't really have much lore to him inherently, like Five Pebbles literally just calls you fat and says to get off his land and tell the rest of the slug cats to stop bothering him. So he's not very nice about it. Where am I trying to uh, go here? I'm not getting much advice from the Overseer about what path to follow. Can I... wait a minute, can I eat these? Ooh, bad on a stick. If I put it down there, and I get a spear, and I crouch... I don't think that did anything. Right, I, I definitely speared it, but it didn't give me any hunger, so... I guess that's a no-go for bats. What did Bluebo say about Gourmand? Uh, nothing really different, I think. I think mostly it was the same. Need a fresh spear? Well, we can experiment. Where is that bat fly hiding? Oh, there's a bunch. Fuck. I'm glad I get unlimited spears here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Spear master, more like spear guy who doesn't know how to throw spears at all. Wait, if I do a backflip, I can throw it up. That's the secret tech, right? Let's try that. Can I do a backflip, though? Fuck no. Of course I can't. Spear gaster. <laughs> if you let go of a spear at all, it dies and you can't get the food. Okay. These guys are just too high to reach. Maybe I shouldn't waste time trying to get them. Oh wait, this is the shelter again. I just went in a big circle. Uh, okay. Which way haven't I been? I need to go further to the right, it looks like. You can transfer it between hands, but not let go of it. Okay. Snipe it. Fuck me. Spear apprentice. Spear novice. Ah, fuck. That was a downward angled throw. What kind of horrible mutation caused him to poop spears? Um, I think a deliberate one. I don't think it was necessarily mutation, it was just designed to behave like this by uh, an iterator, I assume. 
If not by an iterator, I'd be kind of confused as to what. Uh, this is where I came up. So, okay, where... Where's new? Where haven't I been? Further to the right still. Okay, have to head back up. Rain is coming? Oh yeah, it sure is. I don't have enough food though. I'd probably be fine just to take the death on the cycle at this point, rather than starve myself. I wouldn't be losing much progress. It's so over. Probably is, yeah. Especially because I have the uh, funny obstacle course room here. 99% of skugs quit right before they find a shelter. Where finding the shelter is only half the battle outs, and I don't have enough food. explain the uh, the boiling rain theory so there have been various attempts to uh, you know theorize about why the rain falls so hard that it kills you in this game and I think wonders idea was that it the atmosphere is super dense but it falls from really high so it, it picks up a huge amount of velocity um, but then when it hits the dense atmosphere it heats itself up so much that it um, effectively boils, but then through wacky fluid dynamics, the boiling vapor um, propels it downward at faster than terminal velocity. <laughs> so it hits you with the force of like a shotgun blast. It makes perfect sense if you don't think about it at all. Okay, well I know where to go. You don't think that's how boiling works? Well think again. Gotta reclick that pearl though. If there's so many clouds, how is there sunlight? Uh, it goes through the clouds. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the sun in this world is just um, a wavelength of light that isn't blocked by clouds as easily. Oh, it's a very bright sun. That could also work, yeah. The, it doesn't immediately barbecue you if you uh, go above the clouds, so it can't be that bright. Hmm. Well, the um, the water, the main use of the water isn't just coolant for the iterators, but they have to use it as some sort of coolant, otherwise it wouldn't evaporate. That's where the rain comes from, it evaporates from the iterators. This fucking guy, oh my god. Hitting the bats is, like, very frustrating. Ooh. Oh, that works. I ate the mushroom by spearing it. But the bat only filled up a quarter of a hunger pit. That's useless. Droog. The water in the game is actually hydrogen sulfide. 
that would be believable if not for the fact that the iterators call it water, so that's unfortunately hard fact. Ah, uh, they met a Tercelia enthusiast with five bucks, thank you. I just want to say that in real life it has rained so hard things die from being outside. Things were drowning from the amount of rain in the air. Just some some place this happened? I could, theoretically that, that could work, but uh... It seems like in Rain World it, it kills you, like, physically. It can kill you in, like, one second if you walk outside when the rain is at its peak. So it's probably a different mechanism than that. Okay, I think this is new. This is the new zone. This looks kind of like the outskirts. But it's probably not. Um, one must wonder how Rain World's global temperature isn't ridiculously high. Uh, probably something, something void liquid absorbs the, the excess energy. I don't know. You saw one of my comments on an old message video? I think it was the lore tablet one. What do you mean a message video? Did you mean to say moss bag, perhaps? I, I did watch moss bag for a while, so I wouldn't be surprised. I, I used to make a lot of YouTube comments before I became the YouTube myself. Um, funnily enough, the urge to... It was sort of like my, my... My venting zone for writing, you know? It's like I didn't really have a chance to write very much in general. So uh, I would just end up spamming a lot of comments on YouTube. Okay. Very slowly I can get enough to go to a shelter if I just spear all the bats here. Easier said than done, perhaps. That was a good try. Fuck me. Damn it. Their hitboxes are microscopic, I swear to god. How did that not... Mm. There's a genre of ACDS, which is look at this old Andrew comment. Those are pretty common for a while. I think they've sort of dried up. Oh, I got two. Nice. Okay, that was worth spending the time in there. Uh, this... Is this the tutorial zone? I can't remember. Do you think it's painful when he makes the spears? Uh, I'm gonna go with no, because that would make me yet more queasy about the concept of extruding spears from your tail. Wonder says yes. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is definitely the outskirts tutorial. Um, I'm not sure what path I took to get here, but this is 100% uh, the same area. Someone thinks that SRS uh, designed him, and SRS is too much of a bro to make it painful. I'm gonna go with that. You, you can form spears from your ass in real life, and it is painful. Well, maybe that's a different mechanism for the slug cat. Um, the Iggy isn't orange bow, that's the thing. Oh, we got new art. Spearmaster is grumpy and is drawing a picture of a... What is that, a scavenger? I'm not totally sure what that is. Scav moment, yep. But yeah, the, the Iggy colors don't correspond to the Iterator colors, so... Whoever that is, it's not Orange Bow. It's gonna be something else. It could be any kind of bow. Rainbow. Um, oh, hi there. Uh -huh, red lizard immediately, that's not a good sign for the, uh, the longevity of my life. I'm just gonna not go that way. 
I don't really want to fuck with the red lizard as my first uh, warm up to combat in this game. I'm back here. I am the apex predator in this campaign. You probably are meant to fight the red lizard, is the thing. Um, it's probably not going to work first try, though. You won't start giving directions like before unless you ask, uh, but you should head for Bluebo. Okay, that's a good plan. Um, and yeah, I think um, a little bit less backseating than on the Discord streams would be ideal here. That was sort of just for fun, you know. But yeah, going to Bluebo. Ooh, hello. Pull out the spear, spear master. Spear master, pull out the spear. What? How did I get the spear? I didn't... What was that? Okay, well, I get one hunger for that. Another red lizard, good lord. Uh, what's my escape route here? Uh-oh, not that way. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Mind the red lizard. Okay, this time the pearl is being left in the shelter. And I'm going to actually take this seriously. Gamer mode. Oh, scav. Surely I don't have bad scav rep yet. Okay, I have bad scav rep, apparently. Speared me in the ass. Spearmaster has horrendous scav rep. I should have dropped the spears, you think? Hmm, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Each, whenever I stream a game, I include the music from that game in the next uh, video I do. That's just how it works. Otherwise, I run out of music to put in the videos. Need to keep the supply topped up. Kill all the scavs. This isn't the Artificer campaign. I think there's plenty of time for that. Oh. Um, drop wig, son. Is the drop wig gonna fight the lizard for me? What is it doing? Okay, fuck you. Oh, what a joy it is to not get tired after every spear throw like the gourmand. <laughs> Uh, okay, greeny. Let's see how this- oh wait, with the red also though, that's bad. Probably not gonna survive this encounter. Let's leave. Stab stuff repeatedly. Oh, does that work? I'm back here. I really have to just get through there somehow. Ah, shit. Yeah, this is the opposite of Gourmand. Uh, I always see the um, Spearmaster illustrated like a little skinny, um, l lean, muscular lad. And yeah, uh, he doesn't feel super different. Oh. Wait, what? Which, where am I? Let me out. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I think it was sandwiched between two lizards and just getting bodied back and forth. One. Two. Lizard moment, yeah. No kidding. They crave the artificial grape flavor. Yeah, Spearmaster does look like you taste like one of those, um, you know those weird wheels of, of gum tape? Like the purple dusty gum tape that came in a spiral. You taste exactly like that stuff. Lean blood. <laughs> okay, drop wig is already here. Oh, here's the uh, the screaming. <laughs> the funny uh, the music from that one animatic. You know the one. Oh, the lizard already sucked out all the life force from the uh, the drop wig. Damn it. I also wasn't joking about, um, I was watching a million Rain World animatics that sort of sustained my, uh, brain rot for this. Oh. Uh, lots of North, North Flowo, uh, that, that one channel. Hi there. Let me out. Run. <laughs> it seems like you can't pull a spear when you're running. You have to stop. What the fuck is that? So many goddamn drop wigs. Hang on. I'm gonna have to kill something here, otherwise I'm not gonna have enough food. Uh, hang on. What? There we go. Oh, he got away. I thought I pinned him. Oh well. Well, I got one point of food for that at least. Rain World Addiction is truly like that. He's built like one of those skinny geckos with disproportionately large tails. That sort of be- seems to be what a- uh, okay, King Vulture immediately. Raise your filthy hands like tiny daggers up to heaven. Is that a- wait, Godspeed you Black Emperor reference for some reason? Yeah, there's a gun bird. Yeah, I can eat plants! Okay, this fucking vulture wants my ass. Arm yourself, quickly now. I can fight the vulture, but... That's not the best environment to do so. Is the pole plant still here? It looks like it's not, actually. The mimic is just gone. It's died at this point in the timeline. Oh. Fuck you, dude. Damn it. Is this a different mode or a mod? This is part of the DLC. Um, they introduced a bunch of new campaigns, and this is one of them. And in this race, it's going to take quite a while to get to uh, Blue Bow. Dropwood time. Oh yeah, it's dropwood time. We're wigging out. Red lizard, go away, please. Oh my god. Just wait for it. 
Is it coming? It's probably eating the drop wig. Okay, that worked out for me. What is drop wood? No, it's a drop wig. You don't understand. It's like an earwig, but they drop. You can see the, the logic behind the name. There's a greenie on the... Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking green lizards. Why are they trolling me so hard? They're usually not like this. There should be easy pickings if I can just get uh, a moment to isolate one and take a shot. And not this shit, like... Need to spear reds eight times, well, I'm sure you do. Uh, like, what is going on here? I could probably kill it via a war of attrition if I really wanted to. Nice. I think he's running away. I don't remember there being drums in this song. That's kind of new. Alright. Get speared, greenie boy. Time to go die to the red lizard. He's dead. The red ones can climb, they're twice as fast as you, and they can shoot you with a machine gun, though. Um, I'm less confident in my ability to kill one of those. Oh wait, he's already eating a giant centipede. Might be fine. Please continue to eat the centipede and ignore me. Okay, these guys are not good. Uh-oh. Fuck. Did he go down in one spear? What an asshole. Oh no, he just got stunned. They're injured though. Oh, I think they died. Okay, so they do go down to one spear that just takes a second to uh, properly die. So it seems like Spearmaster does more damage than normal because of the uh, the suck action or something. Oh, those fucking drop wigs. Annoying. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm full hunger. I just need to get to a shelter for God's sake. I think there's one down here somewhere, but I don't... Uh, was it up from here? I can't remember, damn it. Wait, what are those? That was not what I meant to throw. Wait, that's the drop wig, fuck. I can see you. Okay, I don't need to uh, eat those. Those are noodle fly eggs, I think. How is the game so far? Uh, well, I've played this game before. Oh, there's the shelter. Thank you, Iggy. For once, you're helpful. Okay, what about now? Which one of these is the shelter? I'm assuming it's down through here. Otherwise, wouldn't make sense. What's the point of even telling me otherwise? Okay, I need to get past the uh, the vulture and kelp zone. <laughs> My least favorite area. Have you seen it yet? I'm not sure what it is. There's a king vulture, red lizard. I'm not sure what's more it worthy than. Oh, fuck me. Why is there a rock there? Um, you're just really in the way, aren't you? Holy shit. Okay, enjoy being in the hole forever. It's such a yucky sound, I know. They did- oh, here's the fucking shelter. Finally. Yeah. The alt campaign outskirts is always quite an ordeal, isn't it?
Mum found the green lizard pit. It's over. <laughs> yes, I know I'm far from Bluebow. I just have to uh, get my bearings here. I should be going to the right to get the Bluebow. Spears probably aren't bone. They're probably like a uh, keratin or something, like really long fingernails. Ooh, kelp pit. You gotta have the kelp pit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, what are, what are those things? Are those squid? I've never seen squid just walking along the ground before. Oh, it's like spider silk that hardens. Very uh, good idea. Please go away. <laughs> the wailing begins once the the kelp grabs you. <laughs> God, that's funny. Oh, hello, noodle flies. Always a pleasure. Um, especially if you bait the drop wigs to kill you before it kills me. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Uh, centipede. That's some free food. He's jumping. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a very bouncy centipede. Okay, get out of the way, noodle flies. I'm coming. Wait. Surely I didn't aggro the noodle fly just from that. What did I even do? <laughs> okay, here we go. There is a centipede, but it's relatively safe. Centipede Ascension Program. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that was a clutch shot. I can't hit bat flies to save my life, but I can do that. I guess it's um, the preferable alternative. Okay, we have giant centipede being eaten by a vulture. We have drop wig somewhere. We have squid. Uh, it's just a disaster overall in this room. I don't like it at all. You don't think hardened silk could form into a complex structure of a spear? Probably has to siphon fluid. Well, we we have our opinions on. The viability of uh, compressed spider silk in chat here. I expect everyone to uh, contribute to the discussion. This is the kind of thing I'm into Rain World for, you know? It's, you argue about how void fluid generates power, how spider silk can be extruded into spears. Centipede. Still a bit peckish. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's going, actually. I do like just being able to kill everything on sight as this character. It's very empowering. This is supposed to be one of like the more powerful characters, right? Um, like, not just a challenge character like the, the hunter, but actually quite strong. Okay, can I get back up here? Maybe. Yes. They produce plastic aluminum. <laughs> it's just extruded microplastics. Uh, hello, drop wig. Um, okay, the lizard is now coming. That's the shelter. No, wait, that's the industrial entrance up there. Uh, where's that lizard gone? Eating the drop wig, I hope? Yes. Alright, well, that's good for me. Uh, can I go to industrial yet? Is it a level 3 gate or a level 2 gate up here? I think it's level 3, right? Yeah, 3, okay. I need to find the, the normal shelter before I get out of here. Actually, killing this lizard would be a good start. Fuck! Too tall, too tall! This is bad. 
Oh, there's a white lizard there. Great. The Dropwig is eating the other lizard. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be right down. Fuck. Spirit. 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 Drop wig will save me, maybe, if I stall for long enough. One of these two might start fighting over me. Is there a spear there that I can hit it with if I if I move in? Oh fuck. Ah, god damn it. Oh, I'm I'm free. No, no, I'm not. The shelter is right there. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh wait, what's that? Noodle fly, save me. I don't think anything's coming to save me. Oh, green lizard, maybe. Uh, maybe. Green lizards are not very good at doing things, usually. Ah, uh, whatever. Have I played the game Kyrian? Yes, actually, I, I beat Kyrian. <laughs> it didn't leave that much of an impression on me, but I, I have played that game. All this motherfucker does is kill. Pretty much. The green lizards are trying their best. They... well, I know. Usually I appreciate it, them not being very good at being alive, but when I'm relying on one to rescue me from a white lizard, it's less appreciable, you know? Less endearing, Vulture. Fuck off, Vulture. Eat the scavengers instead. I think I'm fighting it? I I'm just mashing buttons. There's a second Vulture. Bye bye. Holy shit. Get the mask? I'll, I'll go back for it. Hang on. I may have hit the uh, a scavenger in the crossfire there. Where'd the mask go? Wait, I'm stuck in it. Fuck. Why am I I'm trapped in its geometry? There we go. Okay. Where is the mask in this creature? Oh fuck, I'm really stuck now. If I... The mask is upper left. Oh, it's up there. I see it. Oh the fuck, the other vulture's back. No! Woohoohoohoo! Hehe, <laughs> look at me. Okay, how do I equip this thing? Oh, there we go. Who's the big man now? He's janking out. Oh, you just hold it, I see. I thought you could equip it to your face. So the mask repels lizards, right? That's what it does? Wait, that's not where I wanted to go. Hmm. The game really thinks there's still a threat in the area, judging by the music. It's going wee 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 Okay. Kill some centipedes for yummy food. This is just outskirts ambiance. Oh, it's not the threat theme. Okay. I wonder if red lizards are afraid of the, uh, the mask. 
I feel like red lizards are not biologically capable of feeling fear. They only know kill, eat hot chip, and be bisexual. Is this game set in a post-apocalypse? Um, I guess so. It, it's so far after the apocalypse, quote-unquote, that it's almost irrelevant. Like, I think it's thousands of years after the, uh, the ancient civilization stopped existing. Ooh, centipede. Hi. Hi there. Pull out the spirit. There we go. Okay, centipedes have run away. Lovely. Just gotta get back. I'm very close. I have enough food. Shit. There was that one rather difficult room in the way, though. We need online multiplayer for this? I think it kind of does have that. Um, like you can do, it has local co-op and you can do Steam Together play or whatever. Steam Togetherness mode. Do they develop advanced space travel? It's unclear if space travel is possible in this world. It's unclear if like the world is an infinite flat plane, for example. There really is no indication of what the laws of physics are here and how similar they are to the real world. All we know is that they like building really big supercomputers. All right, made it to the shelter, nice. They say global, so it's probably a sphere. That's a good point, if they do say global. Flat rain world truthers in chat. There's a thing if you go all the way right from the shelter. Interesting. I could try that. If there's a thing, you know. They focused all their technology on religion. Yeah, that's basically true. Instead of space travel or exploration, they just imputed the uh, the answer to their religious quandaries, or tried to. I don't think they succeeded really. Uh, is that a red lizard or or what? That's just a pink one, I think. A particularly red-looking pink lizard. injured. Let me finish him off. There we go. That's a nice snack. <clears throat> oh! Hi. I can eat you too, or you could run away. Your choice. If only I had stored a backflip, then I can jump and throw the spear down at him. That's actual movement tech. Backflip storage. Fuck. Wrong direction. It's not really a fair fight from this angle, but please just go away. There we go. Okay, what fresh hell awaits me in this flat, exposed plane? White lizard, nice. You love to see it. Fuck. Fuck. The uh, the grab and throw mash does work sometimes, in a pinch. Yeah, all the supercomputers are just in pain instead of doing cool stuff. Pretty much the lore. Yep. They they let have built a bunch of supercomputers, let them run until the end of time to find the meaning of God or something, and just sort of fucked off, and they're still running, <laughs> and they're they're not having a good time. Go up. I'll try to do that. 
Uh, can I go down through here? Uh, bad room. I don't like it. Wait, how do I go up from here? I guess I go past the lizard, but that just takes me down there. Oh, go back? I passed it. Oh, wait, you can go up there? Isn't that like a fake out? Like, you, you can't actually go there on the other playthroughs, at least. No, there's nothing there. Oh, the antenna on the left. I really passed it. Oh, maybe this thing. No. Is it something in here? You love to build hundreds of hyper-intelligent AI and give them depression. Ow. Oof. be a bit faster this time. <clears throat> okay, green lizards. Always fun. Uh oh. No, that was a fast little charge it did. He's dead, I think. Yep. Oh, wait. I mean, it's okay if he survives too, I guess. Oh my god. Fuck you, dude. This guy's an asshole. And probably easier to kill with a rock. There we go. That's all it takes. Two spears really is game changing. Uh, will I upload the highlights to my channel? No, I don't do highlights. Um, the VODs just naturally get saved on my YouTube channel because that's how YouTube VOD works. Okay. Go right. Here? Oh wait, that thing. Is that the antenna you were talking about? What is that? I thought that was just like a sandbox collectible. Oh, no it's not. What? I was ignoring that because I thought it was a sandbox thing. Uh, wait a minute. I don't know if this auto-scrolls. Live broadcast. Private, seven red sons and no significant harassment. Or I've heard of these two lads. For anyone unfamiliar, yes, those are their names. <laughs> what is this, lore? It's lore. I've been given a fucking coma. Uh, I guess I need voices for these guys. These ones are both male, I think? They have genders for some reason. I think my overall plan here is that one of them's getting an English accent and the other one isn't. <laughs> oh, SRS is a sad boy. Oh, SRS does not have a gender. Finally, some genderless robots. <laughs> Okay, sad boy. Maybe I give SRS the, uh, the Asriel voice from those previous streams. That's a sad boy kind of voice. The cat can hear your Discord conversations. Okay, wonders into that idea, I think. 
I can't stop dwelling over the mistakes I've made. I could just delete those memories, of course, but that feels irresponsible. They can delete their own memories? That's kind of a interesting power. Like, if you were an immortal being suffering from depression, and, and you just deleted your memories over and over again, that would kind of solve the problem a little bit. Okay, so SRS is being a sad boy, off to a very sad boy start. And by sad boy, I mean sad, gender non-conforming robot. Okay, now no significant harassment. Oh, what kind of mistakes are we talking about here? Just nor normal ass voice? I don't know. Dude, you do know how depression works. Um, I don't know how it works if you delete your memories over and over again, though. Maybe that'll help. That hasn't been tested as a therapy as far as I know. <laughs> Can he be burger pants? <laughs> it's such a... That would be kind of funny. I did the exact same thing for uh, the last stream. I would kind of enjoy doing that, though. Like, these two are just Asriel and Burger Pants. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. Oh, what kind of mistakes are we talking about here? I once gave someone sensitive information, the kind that could be dangerous if acted on. That's the suicide booth. Okay, we know where Five Bubbles got the suicide booth. Yet I should have known they weren't in the right state to use that information responsibly. I take it you won't tell me on content, uh, or who. Oh wait, I take it you won't tell me the content, or to who? This works. Make sure you don't hate doing these voices. Oh, I don't hate these voices, Wonder. Assy pants moment. Right, so SRS totally did just give the how to kill yourself tutorial to Five Pebbles, who obviously wanted to kill himself. <laughs> Maybe not the most responsible move, I have to agree, SRS, but, you know, who doesn't want to kill themselves in this world, really? I think it's a pretty common goal. Oh, he just means the cat boy outfit. <laughs> That's another interpretation, for sure. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, you're right. They're color-coded in the same colors. Just fucking let that sink in. Although they're reversed. Oh no, they're not. It's literally the same. <laughs> I didn't even pick up on that angle. Okay, we're stuck with this now. Oh no, they are reversed. Okay, at least they're reversed. <laughs> Seven red suns showed five people what femboys are. No, I will not, out of respect. Uh, look, if you ever want to talk about it, uh, I can. We can share this little problem of yours. We're made to solve them, after all. They're made to solve problems, you know? You're worried they're gonna get themselves hurt by messing it up. They already have... Who's narrating this? This is like a telepathic Discord call that I'm listening in on. Alright. We have Iterator Lore. Yes. Let's go to industrial. We're done here. It's literally a Discord log. Like, I wasn't joking. In the in the lore pearl I read at the start of the stream, one of them actually gets kicked out of the group chat for raiding. It's comical. These beings' existence is a joke. Spearmaster has a unique ability to tune into Discord calls. Right, you walk by the antenna, the 5G antenna too close, and you get Catboy Pebbles beamed directly into your brain. Uh, hi there, centipede. What you doing? Centipeding out? I bet. Fuck. Oh, now he's coming back. The boy who talked mad trash about silver. What the fuck? That was some jank. That was pure jank right there. Holy shit. Do I have to go back and get that log? Is that like, is that a tracked thing? I don't have to go back and get it, okay. Well, that's a shortcut in that case, but I've lost karma. 
Yeah, I gotta go get that karma back. Uh, by hunting more green lizards, I guess. Oh wait, this isn't even a real spear. Fear me. Fuck. They're free with the vulture mask in theory. I've forgotten how to use spears though, it's a bit unfortunate. As the spear master. I think the mask is actually hindering me here, if anything, because I can't have two spears at once. Green bow. He's still alive. feel a bit bad for the green lizard, but not that bad, you know. They eat you all the time. There's a mod that plays the outskirts threat theme when Spearmaster makes a spear. Oh, that's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to go to sleep. Wake up, kill lizard, sleep. This is my life. So I wonder, I know I'm, I'm a messenger of some sort, that's the Spearmaster lore. I'm probably being sent from either SRS or NSH to talk to Five Pebbles. What's the message, I wonder? Is it unblock me on Discord? If it is, I hope so. <laughs> I think they're all slimy, like all the slug cats would be pretty slimy. SRS has red text. I know- I've seen, um, the designs of these guys. I know that SRS is like a yellow one and NSH is a green one, so we have like orange bow and green bow essentially. Uh, but judging by the established convention... Oops. Um, I expect that no significant harassments Overseer is the orange one, and SRS's is, is a different color. Did the Dropwigs even care about, um, the mask? Or did they not have eyes? Oh, hi there. Not the best hiding spot. Yeah, they don't care about the mask. They don't have brains or something. Uh, how many fucking Dropwigs do you need? Holy shit. There's such a thing as too many Dropwigs, maybe. Know my hypothesis. Um, SRS has the orange one, and NSH does in fact have a green one. Oh, so they actually have matching colors. Good for them. Uh, there's a blue lizard in the way. Hear me, I have a mask. Fuck. How did it dodge that? What a shitter. Are you winning? Kinda. Uh, yes, I've beaten Gourmand. I'll do the- I'll do the- probably all the campaigns at some point, but Spearmaster was recommended, uh, next. Cause I get to do funny iterator voices. <laughs> by, by which I mean... Just Asriel and Pizza Pants. Again. Wait. Wait, why am I still at two? Did I die twice? Fuck. When did I die again? I, I had three karma at some point. Shit. Okay, well. Back to the grind, I guess. I have to rest again. You have a headcanon that Moon originally had blue overseers, but five pebbles like the color better. And being the kind older sister she traded. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Wait, is that an explosive spear? What the fuck is that? 
A bomb spear. Where did this even come from? I'll take it, I guess. That's really cute, though. I was really stunned when uh, Moon was literally called Big Sister Moon in one of those logs. It seemed like a fanon name, but it wasn't. Oh, I just totally wasted that. Oh, well. I don't need bomb spears. I have uh, umbilical cord spears. Heh. <laughs> Get sucked. Boing. Spearmaster has a chance to spawn explosive ones? That doesn't sound like a very useful ability even, because you don't get food from those yet. The big sister part is not part of her official title, but it was her actual username on Discord. Like, it, that's not just a fan and name. She used that as part of the Discord chat. Which is... I don't know, they, the iterators always are a bit more anthropomorphic than I expect. Is that a drawing of a, a vulture mask or an iterator? Hard to tell. Could be either one. Could be a Catboy Pebbles, for example. Oh, it's Hornet. <laughs> uh, Spearmaster's just a Silk Song fan. Oh, that was some weird jump tech I just did. I know there's tech if you cram yourself into these, you can get like a crazy jump, but I'm not sure how to do it. They were trained on Reddit data and Discord logs. Only the finest. Nice. Good start to the day. I'm going to be in here for a sec. Hang on. I don't want that. Okay, the vulture is probably not scared of the vulture mask, and probably that'll just make it angry, if anything. Uh... Hitbox moment. I love it. You love to see- oh my god. Okay, all the drop wigs fucked off for some reason, so I guess I'm fine. Da Zombies Iterator OC is trained on the lore pit. I, the, does Da Zombies have his own Discord server with his own lore pit where they discuss Iterator uh, lore or something? Like whether Five Pebbles would endorse cannibalism and shit? Because I hope so. There must be someone trying to get their uh, hands on Discord logs for AI training. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm not sure why they'd want an AI to speak like Discord users, though. He has at least two lore channels. He saw enough. That's the Clyde bot? Is Clyde uh, an AI chat bot? I, I don't even know what Clyde is. Five Pebbles would not denounce cannibalism purely because he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> that sounds about right. Okay, wait, the shelter's busted? Bro, my shelter. I need that. Uh, this is bad. Wait, the vulture is just busted. Bro. Bro. Come on. Fuck's sake. I'm back here with not enough karma to go through the gate, because there's no shelter. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a process. Okay, fucking... Just get off to an early start. Kill the drop woods. I need more drop wigs. Give me a second one. There we go. Third drop wig. You love to see it. Just dislodged a spear from that wall. What a lad. Hang on. Let me get the vantage point. What the f 
Matrix dodged. Um, why does it keep vomiting spears at me? Why are you doing that? This is a weird angle. Probably not possible. Oh, it's bait? Oh, clever. Well, bye. I don't know how to hit it from there. That's the baiting behavior you mentioned. I, I don't remember that. Oh, hi there. Uh, large... What the fuck was that? There we go. That's all you need. Uh, okay, I need to go back now. Stock up on food. Or karma, that is. How is the, uh... Oh, the slide is not nearly as impressive as the gourmand. Not even close. Oh, fuck me. Um, he's going back. Uh, that's not good. Wait, the mask will give me some breathing room, though. I hope. I want the bowling ball physics for the skinniest cat in the game, yeah. What is the gourmand? That is a previous slug cat. I played the survivor on stream, then I played the, the gourmand campaign off stream. Now this is the spear master. There's a bunch of these. I did like the butt stomp ability. The Gormana can just fall on people and hit them, but uh, it was also very unreliable because they have tiny hit boxes, and if you miss, then you just get eaten. Uh, as you'd expect in Rain World, basically. Alright. Drop wig cleanup detail. Let's go. That was close. They let you skip this one, though. Where's the other drop wigs? There's the other one. Not bad. Uh, I don't want that spear. I, I don't want that. don't want that. The Gourmand is pretty mobile, but just he gets tired. Which is very frustrating sometimes, because he won't stop being tired unless you stop for like a long time. And if you're being chased at all, you can't do that. Okay, this time don't be eaten by the vulture. That's the goal. You can beat Spearmaster by throwing only one spear? Uh, how? Like, just starving every cycle? Is that one of those challenge runs on that, that one channel? The person who killed one of the guardians, you know? A guy called Rock Sixes runs it daily. Is that the channel, maybe? There was a, a pretty cool channel who did Rain World challenge runs that I found, but I didn't really watch much of it because it was sort of spoilers. Like, I, I couldn't watch. They had, like, a Hunter High Score room run, which looked crazy, but I didn't want to watch the whole thing because I haven't played the Hunter myself. Okay, I want to suck that popcorn bush before I go. That's valuable nutrients. Boom. Ow. Uh, wait, that's not gonna work. No. Five. That's pretty good still, even if it's not a full... Uh, if completely fills you up like the other slug cats. It all comes back to the turtles. Where's the turtle? 
Turtle Toad. Oh, that's probably the one, yeah. I left the mask? Oh shit, where'd the mask go? Oh, it's over there. Damn it. I do want that. Though having two spears again would be pretty nice. I'm not sure if it's the mask is actually better or not. But uh, once I get to the... There's lots of lizards in Industrial. I'll probably want the mask once I get in there. Or at least I'll regret not having the mask. That's what the point of the mask is. Yeah. Leave it in a shelter? Well, I could, but then I wouldn't have it. There's lots of uh, lizards in here. I think I want the mask. Uh, oh, speaking of which, there we go. Okay, I have to remember how to get to Moon. I think it's got to go up in this room first. Yeah, the double spears is quite fun. I enjoy it. I think Hunter can double spear, right? They give you some benefits for having to do the hardest campaign in the game. The blue is a one-hit kill, yeah. Okay, why is it doing that with its face? <laughs> what is that particle effect supposed to convey? Hunter gets the back spear, right. Oh, double spearing is a bug, but you get the back spear. Okay, I see. I don't even know what that was. It's a drop wig eating a lizard or a lizard eating a drop wig. One or the other. Uh-oh. That was a bit cocky. I can't see what part is the lizard and what part's the drop wig. That's the difficulty here. Um, okay, you know what? Just, yeah, fuck off down there. It's fine. Okay. Oh, the blue pearl. Wait, no. I already know what's in the blue pearl. We don't need that. Huh? <laughs> that lizard. Uh, it was not having a good day, I guess. Do you want directions to go to the broadcast? I don't even know what the goal is yet. M my only goal right now is to get the blue bow and then see what happens. Hopefully you get more telepathic, uh, oh, the broadcasts, do you mean the, uh, the lore? I'm gonna say yes, actually. If I'm gonna pass one of those, uh, the, the lore tidbits, I, I wanna see those. Okay, uh, how the fuck do I get past the red lizard? I guess like that. Wasn't too bad, but... Come on. There you go. What the fuck? Cyan, 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 bad. I, I don't know why my impulse was to go back in after the cyan lizard there. That was not smart. Can I do it? Kinda. There we go. We all hate the cyan lizards. If you want directions, you're going the wrong way. Well, uh, I'll get the, sh the shelter down here. I, I just need to get a shelter. That's really the first priority. I should give them the spears, probably. There you go. Free spear. Got one, too. You can have one. There. Spear. You want one? Okay, bye. Bribing the local chimpanzees. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't... I shouldn't have a spear while interfacing with them. I'm just going this way. Hi. Hey. What's up? Hi. If I give them the mask, they'll they'll like me a lot for that. I don't really want to give them the mask though. Can you can I just 
Here we go. Scav moment. Yeah, why do they hate the Spearmaster? He, he prints money for them, yeah. He's pointing. How many spears do you need, dude? How many scavs? Is that a pearl? No, it's a, an insect. He's pointing. What does that mean? Does anyone speak scavenger? He wants the mask? Do, 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 do. I'll just be going this way. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Slurp. Okay, thank God. We're in. Would you like it if a guy pulled a dollar bill out of his ass and gave it to you? I mean, maybe if I wanted to spend a dollar on something. They want the mask. That's what the pointing means. Okay. Well, now that I have the shelter, I will go back and find the broadcast because I want that sweet, sweet iterator lore. I drew a scav here. Yeah. I want the spear in that hand, yes. Alright, so thus begins the, uh, the the vague game of Marco Polo to find the, the next iterator broadcast. Feel free to scream directions at me, chat. Uh, I'm not going to shade it until I find the uh, the broadcast that apparently exists. So, I came through this... Yeah, this room. I came through here. Um, I could have gone up here. It's just left. Head back to the left side. Okay. Uh, I have enough food, actually. That's nice. It, so Spearmaster is the only character so far that's had, um... You can just sleep twice in a row. I'm fucked? What's fucked? Oh, if his nose gets plugged and he can't breathe, I see. It would be fucked. Nice. Deflate that balloon. There's no easy way to get back over there, is there? I always run into this issue. Ow. Oh wait, the, the mask. He can breathe through his tail, of course. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Like really big hair follicles, that's, that's gross kinda. Uh, don't want that. There we go. Blind streamer. Cross the centipedes. Yeah, I'm not worried about the centipede. Oh, they're pretty big though. There's lots of them. Okay, that one's dead. Maybe not yet. Uh, excuse me, sir. Leave me alone for a sec. Is that one still not dead over there? It took two spears. Three spears. Oh my lord. Well, I'm full of centipede blood at least. That's true, if the spears can slurp up blood like a straw, then why not slurp up air? 
Actually, not a bad point. I think that's a mimic. I'll never know now. There we go. I, I remembered that somehow. Have I talked about how remember is a really hard word to say? I, I have d difficulty pronouncing that on stream for some reason. Remember. I even avoid adding it to video scripts if I can. I use like recall instead. Remember. Centipedes in my skug? It's more likely than you think. The atmosphere is really dense. Wait, in response to what? Oh, that's the breathing. It's really easy to breathe through his nose because the atmosphere is just that dense. That's how it works. There you go, free spear. Enjoy. Free spear for fucking everyone, I guess. Oh, they hate the. They want the overseer dead. Good luck with that, guys. Um, drop wig though. Fuck. You don't want to miss. Okay. Okay, I didn't need the food from that, I just needed it dead. Now I only want you dead. The mask though, where did the mask go? What the fuck? Okay, never mind. The dubstep lizard had other ideas. Take the mask. Okay. Spook the cyan lizard with the mask. Uh, or the scavenger, or the green lizard, or fucking I don't know anymore what's happening. Just, just leave. Oh, he's coming back for me though. Yikes. Okay, everything's behind me now. <laughs> That's where you want it to be. I think we're good. Go up here. Will do. I remember being. Uh, I remember this being quite an ordeal to get back um, on the Gorman playthrough to this one route through the uh, the basement. Oh fuck me. Okay, uh, vulture time. Hooray! Eat the lizard. Eat the lizard instead. Yes. Bye. Okay. Get it. Oh yeah, sleepy time. Live broadcast, private, gazing stars, secluded instinct. What, these are new ones? I didn't know there'd be even more dudes. Okay, um. These guys also need voices. Obscure iterators. If they if they don't occur again, I'm just giving this guy the birdly voice. <laughs> There's a lot of randoms. Have you heard the rumor that unparalleled innocence has been spreading? <laughs> That's the voice. I have only heard bits and pieces, but I would love to hear more. They say that an iterator got the wrath, and they have it bad. That's terrible. Did they mess up an experiment? Gazing stars secluded instant. So the, the rumors, we know what those rumors are, because we took the lore pearls to Bluebo. Um, that was unparalleled innocence sent, sent an overseer to take lewd photographs. <laughs> Not really, but uh, to take covert photographs of five pebbles to show that he has the brain rot and they posted that to the discord group chat gazing stars is a very my little pony-esque name there is some convergence i guess yeah the iterator and the my little pony names they intersect a little bit in the middle of the venn diagram you love the idea of iterators having a lisp despite not having lips yeah So it's a known thing, the rot, uh, but it's still just, it's a noteworthy enough rumor that any iterator has the rot, which is interesting. So why is the rot a known phenomenon if they're surprised that just someone has it? Yeah. 
It's believed so, yes. Everyone is trying to contact him to find out what happened. Who is it, anyway? It's five pebbles. The one near looks to the moon. Isn't she his senior? Enough to the point where she calls herself Big Sister Moon. What about asking her? Contact was lost with her as well, and we still don't know what happened. This reminds me of the gossip from a while back with Erratic Pulse. Did we ever hear back from him? <laughs> I wonder who that is. Nope, I can't wait to. All of this gossiping really makes the cycles passing less dull. Oh, I it better. <laughs> it really seems like it. True, but I don't we all have a job to do? I suppose so. I think I got the impression uh, that the gossip helps the cycles pass. There's a vulture coming back. No, thank you. Oh, it's leaving. Make a run for it. Nope. Fuck me. God, they shoot fast. There's another broadcast. Okay, where is that one? Right of this room leads to a shelter. The broadcast is further left. Okay. That's fine. Wonder does not remember the location of the messages. I think, uh, Palmody Salmon seems to, though. That's okay. Mel had a sandwich? Nice. What was the sandwich like, Mel? Describe the sandwich. Should go up there and fight the vulture. Wait, it's sniping me from here? Dude, what the fuck? These guys don't play fair. Wait a minute, drop the mask. Where's the vulture? Okay, vulture just fucked off, never mind. Straight up from the blue pearl room. Okay. I can get there. Not that way. I want that, uh... Actually, I don't really need the popcorn plant. I'm sure I'll get enough food just by killing things. I want the mask, though. Meat and cheese and tomato and lettuce. A very standard sandwich. Nice though. Made a peanut butter and honey sandwich for, uh, for the stream. <laughs> Tarantula meat. God. Yeah, this, uh, we're gonna get into uh, occasional references to Discord stream lore, unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately, depending on your perspective. Uh, there was discussion of tarantula meat for some reason. Apparently it tastes like fish. N never had peanut butter. Just in general? Like you've never eaten peanut butter. Is there like a particular reason? Or do you just not have it in your house? Did the ancients invent sandwiches? I hope so. Okay, these guys don't care about the mask. Uh, double spears, probably. Nice. Excuse me. Fuck. Fuck. That's bad. Forget about the food, just, just stab. Surely it's dead, right? That was four spears. Uh, 
but Mel's in the Western Hemisphere, but not the Northern one, so... <laughs> I guess that's the difference. Okay, one more centipede. If doing a backflip would be cool. I doubt it would work, though. No, it does not seem likely. Oh, it's got me. Fuck. Damn it! These centipedes are tankier than I recall. The ancients don't believe in sandwiches. They're an expression of the, uh, the fourth level of sin. Gluttony. Alright, well no fucking around this time. Let's just go. Where am I going? Back to get the broadcast. There's more Discord chats to eavesdrop on. That's the appeal to me. All this shit about, you know, solving the iterator's problems is like, yeah, whatever. I really just want to listen to Discord group chats. How did I throw it that direction? And why is that? That's like a really fat white lizard. What was up with that guy? Chubby boy. That's not the right way. Slug cats are a metaphor for the seven deadly sins. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, the gourmand certainly is. Don't be mean to him. Free food from the centipedes. If they don't kill you, that is. It's free food. Is the darker orange one stronger? I think these are smaller than last time. This is not a good angle to be fighting centipedes. Look at this shit. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. And I'm dead. Maybe picking a fight with the centipedes is not the best idea. I hadn't extruded yet. Such disappointing slides after the gourmand. It's like barely faster than walking. that? Explosive spear. I kind of want that. What is it really going to do though? I'm probably just going to kill myself using that realistically. Yo, 10 pounds from JD. Thank you, JD. Appreciate that. And if you're wondering, I'm not using your, uh, your Tesla Skug mod just because I was in a rush to start today. For the next stream, I plan to get that that up and running, because there is going to be a next Rain World stream. Oop. Oop. That's not ten bucks. That's ten pounds. It's like four hundred Canadian dollars. Uh, hi there. Sir, you are in the way. Fuck. Can I not throw the mask? Oh, you can't throw it. Uh, shit. Oh, he's moving on. Okay, okay. Nice. Nice. 
He's coming. How many centipedes are there? Holy shit. What the fuck are you doing, dude? I say, having control over the character myself, but that was a, a total jackass stunt. Wait, I can just do this tactic. I don't need to pull them out every time, I, but I, I don't get food unless I do. Yeah, that's true. I'm over-relying on spawning the spears instead of just stabbing them to death like normal. Fuck. How did I mess it up that badly? Holy shit. Just leave the mask. Just leave the mask here. Permission to DDT the centipede pit. Uh, I can't craft spore grenades. The gourmand can. But uh, I don't know where to get those outside of the farm arrays. I had lots of fun uh, DDTing the centipedes as the gourmand though. Well, yeah, I'm going through Shaded eventually, but again, get the broadcast first. That's the goal. Hello. Fucking scavs. I'll be up here. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't kill me, actually, but um, that's one way to get down quickly. Shaded is better than garbage wastes, in my opinion. I've gone through shaded many times, uh, and I, I do I think I prefer it over garbage wastes, though I've only gone through that one once. Oops. Is he dead yet? Okay, probably dead. Kinda seems like it's still alive, actually. Not sure about that. Oh, they're flanking me now, great. Can you piss off, sir? Okay, get out of here. Oh man, this is taking a while. Okay, centipedes, centipedes, centipedes. You love to see them. Centipedes are my favorite. Okay, don't fuck with me now, Scav. Holy shit, guys. Spears? You can have a spear if you get off my back. Okay, thank you. Take the spears. Holy shit, guys. Get out of here. I'm just trying to make progress to the Discord messages. Uh, hi. Oh my lord. Yet more scavengers. I could probably spear that for food if I really wanted to, but I'm full. I'm all full up. Lizard. Um, okay. Nice. You killed the lizard for me.
pressing shift this close to scavengers. I don't know what shift is bound to normally. Joke's on you. I've rebound all the controls. Okay, easy cyan lizard kill. More scav rep. I helped you kill that lizard. That one's a freebie. It's grab. Okay. I'm heading all the way back to the left is the goal. The red lizard zone. Oh, this fucking room. Oh, I hate this room. Okay, yeah, good. Just fight the green lizard and ignore the slug cat that you can actually kill and eat. What a good idea, guys. Also, the scavenger is here. Okay, bye. <laughs> they never see it coming. Ooh, I can give that to the scavs. Kind of want to. That's free reputation there. Not the spear. Not the spear. Not the spear. There we go. Peter, the scavs are here. Yeah. Okay, make sure the pearl is in the left hand, though. Okay, there was a scav in that room who's being eaten by a lizard. Uh, do you want this pearl, though? You can have the pearl as you die. I won't help you, though. Mm, I don't think he was alive to accept the pearl. That's unfortunate. I tried my best. Come on, man. Fuck. It seems injured. Maybe the scav hit it somewhat. Okay, whatever. That's not my problem. I threw a hundred bill at someone who was being murdered. Well, I thought he might appreciate it at least. Um... It would give him the will to keep fighting, you know? Uh, wait, no, this is the very beginning of the area. Oh, there's no fucking time left in the cycle. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna have to be a bit faster about killing the centipedes if I want to make any progress here. Never mind, the cyan lizard had its own ideas. Okay. shelter is up? What do you mean? Oh, the T leads to a shelter. I didn't realize that. Okay, hi dudes. None of that reputation gain uh, saved itself, of course. <laughs> Skipped off the top of his head there. They're gonna steal my mask? It was in the shelter. They can fucking have it if they want. Carrying the mask around all the time is a... Uh, I don't know, I, I like having two spears. It ruins the gimmick of the character to have the mask. What's up, dude? You want spears? Oh, that guy has the mask, though. Did I just take the mask room? Uh-oh. It was my mask, to be fair. You want it? You wanted to be dead. Okay. Maybe Spearmaster's not good at rolling because he's just light. That, that could be it. Get the spears. <laughs> good to see some healthy Rain World viewership. People seem to like these streams. Uh. White lizard, hi. What's up? It's still there. 
there is a white lizard. It's just blocking the tunnel. Resnack. Oh, I got a mouth spear on it. Check that out. All right, that was dumb luck, but I'll take it. Ow. It's sleeping. Yep, that is a sleeping lizard. There's another one. What the fuck? Why? Why? Okay, I have a lot of food this cycle. God knows. Slaughtered half the cyan lizard population on the way here. Now the centipede zone. This is a real fucking trial to get through this area. With the centipedes. as fuck. Okay, you're dead, aren't you? That guy's dead. Industrial complex pest control, literally. I am making better time, though. Okay, the king vulture, par for the course. Remove pole plant. Yes, eat the scavenger. Have fun. Oops. Wait, do I still have a spear? Am I alive? Okay, that was- that's fine. Um... Yeah, I'm where the, the centipedes have movement vision. That's sometimes useful. There's definitely speedruns of the game, Mel. I've seen them. Uh, I've only seen one, though. I saw the Survivor Any Percent, which is literally just running to the end of the game as fast as possible. The movement tech does get pretty ridiculous. Spears. For you. Want more? More spears. Have fun. You're blocking the way. Please? Let me through. When am I gonna play Eats? What is that? Dude, get out of the fucking hole. What's he doing? You're wasting my cycle time, dude. Drop spears to lure it out. That's an idea, actually. It's dead? No, it's not. It's just fucking having a nap. Oh my god. Leave. Okay. Spears for everyone. Enjoy. Oh, this room looks fun. Surely the lizard doesn't know I'm here yet. I'm duking those guys. Yes, have fun fighting the lizards while I, I leave. Come on. The jump doesn't look that hard. That flies, whatever. Run, run, run. That's the lizard, though. Fight the lizard in the lizard fighting pit. Nice. I'm 
holding on to the lizard? What's up? Why can't I move? I might be soft locked. Oh wait, no, there's another exit. Thank God. What is that thing? Wait, did it hit the overseer? I think that's an overseer eyeball. Huh. If I grab it first and give it to him, does that count as trade? There you go. That's commerce. Yeah, no, they like overseer eyes. I guess they have lots of overseers, though. I don't think they can run out. Just take the quick way up, yeah. Here we go. T Junction leads to shelter. Casually steal your murdered friend's corpse and give it to the murderer as payment. The, the overseers aren't my friends. They're just... They're like limbs, you know? Iterator limbs. Why can't I get out? There we go. Ooh, karma flower and shelter. Bonus. Oh, oh yeah, right. I forgot. Um, I'll have to uh, figure this out. <laughs> Shit. How do you do this? I have to get it onto an elevated surface, maybe. Maybe that'll work? It worked. I got it somehow. Okay. Perfect. Is that broadcast? Is it further up or is it back down? I'm gonna try going up first. I don't see one. Straight up from Holy Ash Room. Oh, the Blue Pearl Room. That's it. Okay. I'll have to get back to that then. Free karma flower? I already have the uh, the effect active though. Very wet sound effects. Oh hey Pidge. Welcome to the stream. We found yet another <laughs> excuse somehow to break out the Asriel and Pizza Pants voices. Hi. Bruh. Okay. That was just like a first fucking frame bite there. Okay, let's just go down instead of the long way around. Have to find the uh, blue pearl room again, which- oh, it's right here, okay. This is a much faster route. This is the Blue Pearl Room, I think. Just 
floor. It's the top left. All right. He's coming. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Good, good. Made it. Uh, okay, where's my antenna? Really, it's up here, right? There is a vulture, but I don't see an antenna. Oh, it's down right. So I guess not actually in here. Oh fuck. It is in here? Oh fuck me, look at this. Secret little area. It's very confusing sometimes what counts as the uh, same room transition and what's the different room transition pipes. Here we go. Live broadcast, private, seven red suns, no significant harassment. Here we go. It's uh, pretty clear to me what you're talking about, though I won't say who out of respect. Please don't mock me, this is serious. The fact is, he really looked up to me as much as I gave him a hard time. It's not something I took lightly. You're not the only one worried about him. I understand your position, but blaming yourself isn't productive. I understand that. I truly do. At this point, we need to be taking action. What kind of action? I agree, but unfortunately, there's not much we can do being locked up in the box. That's the, uh, the classic conundrum, yeah. Even less so that he's cut off all communications and is rejecting all help from the outside world. That may not be an issue, necessarily. I've already set up a certain plan in motion. Certain plan. There's many things you can do being locked up in a box. Not sure what that means, bitch. It's a bit ominous the way you phrased it. One thing you can do is definitely browse Discord messages. <laughs> All communications are just the backstory of Five Pebbles becoming a cat boy. That's the left hand path of Rain World interpretation. Oh, you yeah, were the social service worker doing a wellness check on Five Pebbles? Basically, yeah. I wonder what exactly they want to know, though. Hello. That was close. Yikes. Wait, he's still alive. Stay dead, you fuck. Is this pipe yard? No, this is just industrial complex. Why? How dare you live? Holy shit, dude. One more for good measure. The, the gray are SRS and NSH. Almost every other region has one colored broadcast. Okay. So the gray ones are the uh, the linear lore story. Because that one seemed to c continue off right from the last one. Like, um, NSH made that joke in response to SRS's previous message, which I didn't pick up on at first. Oh, we're here, okay. Wait, how do I get back up? There's no... <laughs> that was just a mimic. There's no actual pole to climb. Ah, shit. I 
hope the vulture doesn't come back. Come on. Oh, come the fuck on the... I know you can do it. That is a bruh moment. I guess what's over here is your only chance, really. Or oh, the left pole, you're right. How did I not see that? Slug physics. In the, the last Gourmand stream I did in Discord, I got stuck on a jump for like half a cycle because of one leech that just would not leave my body. It was the craziest fucking leech, and it was just big enough to mess up the physics for this one really tight janky jump. Uh, and, I, and I just died. The rain got me. There was no counterplay. There's a fucking scavenger blocking the tunnel. What? Wait, excuse me. Let me out. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to drag this dude. Oh, you can really drag them though. Huh. Um. Okay, blue lizard is just waiting to ambush me. Of course. Ah, fuck off! Are you dead yet? Holding a slug cat sized corpse in a tunnel boosts movement. What? How? That makes no sense, but neither just gaining momentum from throwing something in the same direction. It's a glitch. Oh, okay. What really is the boundary between glitch and mechanic in this game? There doesn't seem to be much of one. The janky physics game that you use the janky physics in. Consumed an absolutely fantastic lasagna. Nice. I don't suppose it was a bitch lasagna, or whatever the reference is. I don't actually watch PewDiePie. Okay, it's time to take on Deep Nest with two karma, which means I can't take on Deep Nest. We'll just have to go on a few hunting trips, basically. I'll finish my sandwich while the loud noise plays. Chips on a sandwich for the crunch. Interesting. Um, usually, I find I eat a lot of um, salami sandwiches personally, which wouldn't really support chips. I, I can't really picture one of those with chips on it. They're about the chewy texture. Um, right now I'm eating a peanut butter and honey sandwich, which probably also wouldn't support chips very well. Hmm. I also like oniony grilled cheese, which is basically just, um, it's a grilled cheese that you dump an entire caramelized onion into, and that's it. It's very good, though. Actually, this isn't going to take long at all. I can just go back, sleep, pop the uh, popcorn bush up there, and then I'm good to go. Flamin' hot peanut butter and honey sandwich. <laughs> yeah. 
Mel knows salami and chips, and it's not great. That's too bad. I know that salami and cheddar isn't very good. You need, like, provolone or something for that. Question of how I'm going to see in shaded? You can just not see. I've done the area without any light before. It's fine. Capriche is where I'm at. What, what's a capriche, if that's how it's pronounced? It looks Italian. There are fun spiders now. Oh, did they upgrade the spiders? Spears are just going to build up in here at this rate, because I, I can't take the, uh, the old spears at the beginning of a cycle. It's like fresh mozzarella. Oh, the capriche is a sandwich type, I see. Italian sandwiches are very nice when they're they're done well, you know, with like a... What's the other one that's got? Like a muffalata? It has that like sort of um, interesting olive mulch on top. I don't know if that's strictly Italian, but it's it tastes kind of Italian and it, they're very good. Nice. Yeah, you hold the right and spam junk. jump. That's how you get through shaded, pretty much. Oh wait, muffalata is the bread? That's news to me. I've only heard of those sandwiches called muffaladas. How does something taste Italian? Like, it tastes like it could be an Italian sandwich, but I don't know if it's literally invented in Italy. That's what I mean. <clears throat> no vulture that time. Nice. If you get the same ingredients on a hoagie, it's not a muffalata. I guess not. Um, but if you put a Philly cheesesteak toppings on a muffalata roll, though, that probably still wouldn't be a, a muffalata. Sandwich meat's so bad you became vegetarian after. That's cool. That's uh, that could be distributed to solve a lot of problems in the world, actually. Oh, is that true? Panini is just Italian for sandwich. I mean, there's a lot of things like that, where a very general word in one language gets taken as a loan word to another language, but means something specific. Like, uh, salsa in most of North America means pico de gallo, which, which I think salsa in Spanish literally just means sauce, uh, sauce. But if, if someone says salsa in like a, an anglophonic country, it generally just explicitly means pico de gallo. Whereas a panini, yeah, is a, that's a specific type of pressed grilled sandwich. Well, panino is a single sandwich. Muffalata of Theseus. <laughs> I wish I had a muffalata. I'm gonna get hungry again and start ranting about food like the last stream. I didn't immediately go make pancakes, but I made pancakes uh, yesterday because I still sort of wanted them after talking about them on the Thursday stream. I can't wait to be eaten by spiders. Are these different spiders than the uh, Gourmand has? Because Gourmand has a harder map, but not really any crazy spider creatures from what I recall. That stream was so good, apparently. I'm glad you liked it. Toby said that was good too, actually. He was watching and he specifically said that he enjoyed that one, so... I'm not sure what I did exactly, but I'm glad people like it. Wanna try almond pancakes? Did, did Nico's mom make almond pancakes specifically? I don't remember that. I thought it was hazelnut or something. Wasn't it like a hazelnut pancake? Almond would probably be good though, just I imagine um 
it'd probably be better off just using almond extract than actually trying to grind almonds into that. It wouldn't have as much flavor. Yeah, Nico's mom makes the hazelnut pancakes. That's right. Okay, there's the scary spider creature. They look more like those crazy um, centipede things, the house centipedes, than actual spiders. Which, they're just as ugly. I don't like them either way. Oh, but we got the good music right off the bat. You love to hear it. How do I feel about spearing lantern mice? Um, if I have to, I'll do it. Actually, there are kind of all there is to eat besides spiders down here, so maybe I will have to. In the other campaigns, you can't really eat those, though. Okay, let's get... Oh, I'll need to kill some for the shelter, won't I? Wait, how do I get up here? Eh, one whole food pip. That's not bad. I played some of the DLC off stream. Yes, I... I technically kind of streamed the Gourmand run, uh, but it was only on Discord voice chat, specifically to my server, just... I was kind of like, I wanted to stream it, but also not stream it. It was it was weird, but I, I compromised, and I basically played it off stream. But a few people did see that. Can I spear the, uh, the orange stuff? Probably not easily. I did Gourmand, but I, I was missing like one thing for the food quest when I finished the game, so I could still ba go back and see the ending for that, theoretically. I had to go back, I forgot to eat a jetfish ever for some reason. Oh, well, there's a scav. Oh, there's a drop wig up there, I see that. Ha 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 ha! Alright, that's a bit of a heartier meal than the, uh, the mouse. Free spear, sir? All yours. <laughs> yeah, fuck that overseer up. Yeah, for Hunter, I've decided, um, I said this at the start of the stream, but I'm either going to do that not on stream or as the very last thing, because that could take a very long time to, like, get a successful run, and I don't want other runs to be backlogged behind the Hunter playthrough. Nice. Hunter isn't hurt if you plan it. Well, I'm not like reading the wiki first, if that's what you mean. So it will be hard. Skug life. <laughs> uh. Apparently you can give the hunter more cycles with the remix mod or something, but you know, what's the point of playing the hard mode character if you're not playing on hard mode? Oh, I fucked up again. You don't pick the flower. Wait a minute, can I? You can throw the flower then spear it immediately, that's probably how you're supposed to do it. Hunter and Artificer are the hardest. I haven't heard Artificer being the hardest. That's not a common opinion. Yeah, I remember this room. This one was a pain to get through. There we go. Nice. And you can look at the map in here too if you're desperate. What the fuck is happening? Oh, it's this room. Wait, there's no flashbangs in here. There's usually flashbangs. Just my luck. Wait, why am I... What happened? 
Oh, the spiders. Fuck, am I being eaten by spiders? Dude, I can't see. I thought that was the sound of a scav fighting in the distance, not me being killed. Um, I'm incapacitated. Holy shit. This is bad. I can just keep throwing spears. See if I hit anything. Yeah, I'm being shot by something. Holy shit. There's the spider. I'm dead? No? I'm just... asleep? What the fuck is going on, dude? I think I killed whatever it was. That's unpleasant. Okay. Let's just leave this room. They have trank darts. Ew. What the fuck is that noise? What the fuck has an excuse to make a noise that gross? It's just a ball. Okay. Move on quickly. Spearmaster took 56 Benadryls from the spider. Spider Benadryl. Pick your pick. The Wario MDMA pill, Super Mario Boner pill, or Spider Benadryl. Okay, I'm gonna need to eat some of you. Hang on a sec. Can I, uh... Like, throw this and... Not really. Oh, hi there. Uh, you want a spear? Want a rock? I'd love that lantern. No, he left. Damn it. I might try to kill a few of you. Uh, dangle down a bit lower for a sec, please. Or I could come up too. There we go. I derive no joy from killing the funny mice, but it's, uh, their food. Okay, where- how do I get up here? Can't see shit. Okay, keep moving. The cycles are not, uh, lenient here, from what I recall, if you're not going fast. Fuck. Oh, I hit the other one by accident! Huh? Okay. Uh, I need one more. Wait. Can I... Okay, spider monster detected. Just avoid the spider monster. The evil, disgusting, nasty spider monster. Do I need that pole? How do you do this again? You, you go on this pole, you jump up, then you grab to the second pole, you climb all the way up here. What the fuck is that? Was that a Miros vulture? What just happened? Good. What? How the fuck did that thing get in there? Aren't we underground? Can it come through the pipes? Good lord. Okay. Room layout, please. I know this one. That's a Miros Vulture. I know about the Miros Vulture, but I didn't realize it was here. Like, Jesus Christ. Where is it coming in from?
Go back. Just climb up. Where do I go? Hide. Right, they really upped the ante here, didn't they? Oh boy. Luckily, I remember the route, it seems. Holy shit. Fucking get me out of there. Wait, spiders! Bruh, the fucking spiders. Oh! Of all things, just a random spider killed me. Okay, well, I know the goal. I know what stands in front of the goal. The coal speeds are deadly because I'm light? Is, is that a factor? I can still kind of see in this room. Oh no, it's only dark in this one, okay. This is the room with the spider gatling gun, wasn't it? Oh no, this is the, the big annoying climb. Okay. Hmm. So the gourmand is more resistant to spiders. I guess that's why I was actually deathless for a long time on my gourmand run. Uh, and I wasn't sure why. I thought I'd just gotten a lot better at the game, you know? Okay, I remember the route now, though. A little bit better. We should be faster. What am I holding? There we go. Um, where do you go? You jump over this, that's right. Down here. Move to the right. Yump, 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 yump. I don't know, that's a scavenger, I think. Fast, fast, fast. Okay. Free mice killing room. Lantern guy. Hey, lantern guy, do you want some spears? He did not want the spears. Whatever. Chat has never done an all broadcast run? Well, I guess that's de facto what I'm going for, because the broadcasts are my raison d'etre. As they say, in France, I guess, maybe. What are your thoughts on the Skugs so far? Uh, I've only played two, so there's not that many thoughts. The, the Gourmand was a little bit on the annoying side, I thought. The, um... Having to take a, the, the breathers so often was quite a detriment. Um, the one-shot spears were very good, of course, but I find, like, it was kind of an all-or-nothing playstyle in a game where if you fuck up once, then you just die instantly, so... It wasn't my favorite, I guess. Uh, climb up. I, I kind of prefer having to spam things with spears in general. Um, why can't I... There should be a, a tunnel here. Where am I? There we go, there's the tunnel. Grab that. Go in. Making very good progress this time though. Wait, this is where the spiders killed me last time, I should be careful. They're 
coalescing on me. I see the spiders. Uh oh, why did the mouse turn off? Fucking mouse. Ah. Went into a den. Okay, there's a shelter down from here, but I don't... I missed a thingy. There's a broadcast? I'm, I'm going back for it then. Where's the broadcast? Down? Up? Maybe all the way up? How do I get up? Don't know. Yeah, there's a shelter down, but I can't sleep unless I get more food first. Huh. Could cheekily eat the scavenger. Ooh, the egg bug. I have to eat the egg bug. It's in the shelter. Perfect. You fuck! You fuck! Oh, he didn't- it was throwing rocks, not spears. The egg bug. Kill the egg bug. For fuck's sake, where's the egg bug? I may have to eat you. I had to do it. Wait, that wasn't enough food. I ruined my scav rep. For nothing. Wait, they're being eaten by a spider. If I go kill the spider, problem solved, right? Wait. That did nothing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hi, Outsin. Cool that you're still watching. Well, yeah, that, that ended the uh, loss of scavenger rep at least, but like, how do I get enough food through here? I can't eat the moss, and the mice are really hard to hit. Eat the Miros Vulture. Does that thing even have meat, or is it just mechanical? I don't think you can kill those, right? Or at least not practically. Oh, hello. Ow. Fuck off. Kinda wanna steal the lantern. Just saying. <laughs> oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I stole its lantern. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe that's worth the loss in rep. Don't fuck up uh, this one. The scavengers are assholes. They deserve to be stolen from spider. Ooh, that's a big spider. Don't like it. Oh, it just dropped it to grab a spear? I didn't even steal it. Huh. Who really knows, though? There's a lot of spiders in here, eh? I don't like that so much. <clears throat> nice. That's some free food. Seeing the spiders is actually a boon now, because I can snipe them for food on the way there. Usually you just don't see them and therefore you're immune, but... Or you're immune to being frightened by them, is what I mean. <laughs> Okay, the food is going pretty well this time, it seems. Nice. This mouse... Oh, did I hit the scavenger or the mouse? I think that was the mouse. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here, just in case. Goodbye. Oh, 
lots of yummy food. Uh, come down a little bit, sir. Almost. Wait, that wasn't even a bone spear. I just killed that one for no reason. Damn it. Okay, I have enough food, whatever. You can mod the spear master spear sound into the, uh, like a straw. <laughs> the world is your oyster once you start breaking into mods. It really seems like that. Oops, that's a coalescipede. You can't really spear the coalescipedes because they're not one creature. Um, this is this room. This is where the Miros Vulture appeared last time, though. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. Okay, a lot faster to traverse with the lantern, though. Wait, is that a broadcast? Oh, shit. I think that's a broadcast. Oh, it totally is. Nice. We got Seven Red Suns and NSH, our two dudes. Do you know how I sent the sensitive information last time? I certainly, it certainly wasn't over the broken, sorry. It certainly wasn't over the broadcast networks. I purposed a messenger and sent the information by land via data pearl. How original of you. I learned from the best and at least I used it for something more practical. What was NSH sending? Urno? If you call that practical, sure. Look, uh... Look how well things turned out. He's teasing. Regardless, the fact is that the method worked just fine last time. The info was delivered and the messenger even returned safely. It's Azipant time. So, I recently sent it out again to deliver another message, despite the closed communication lines. Oh. Am I the guy who delivered the suicide booth in the first place? With other situations, oh, that's going to be quite a dangerous trip compared to before. Again, that may not be an issue. I've outfitted my messenger with all it needs to protect itself. Aside from more than one hit point, but yes, the spears are nice. Four arms and a laser beam would have been better though. Purpose found. Old robot yaoi? <laughs> I'll see if I start to understand why the uh, Seven Red Suns Five Pebbles ship is uh, doing so well on AO3. Oh, sorry, I, I tried to save you, Mouse, but the spider has no hitbox. I euthanized it at least. Hang on. <laughs> the mouse is tanking all the hits. I'm trying to hit the spider. not working. Uh, okay, do I just have to ignore this? Was the, the uh, was there another broadcast that were like up, up from that room? Continue to the right, okay. That's excellent, because I'm probably... Oh, I don't have any fucking time, holy shit. I should not have spent all that time throwing 20 spears at the mouse for no reason. I might have just enough time to make it. Or maybe not even. Fuck. This bridge might kill me. Oh, there's the broadcast. Uh, you know what? I'm probably going to die this cycle anyway. Let's just go for the broadcast. Perfect time for uh, <laughs> some lore. Lost header information. Broadcast unknown group null. No significant harassment. Big sis moon. Oh. Uh, moon, moon. Are you able to communicate? 
I am unsure if this broadcast will reach you. I don't know how damaged your systems are. He's turning into Columbo. That's fine, I guess. Dot, dot, dot. Moon, hang in there. We're trying to help you. I don't know if you can, but we're gonna try. Oh, we, yeah, I don't know if we can. We're gonna try to see if we can get five pebbles to calm down. Now, one more thing. If not, I have some ideas. Wake up and smell the rain. Let's do the nightmare bridge. Uh, well, the rain kills me. Ow. <laughs> I just got slam dunked into the pit there. What is it doing? Okay. That is way faster than terminal velocity. And the lantern is now gone. Uh, oh well. I got the, uh, the broadcasts. That's progress. All I have to do is make the run now. Which isn't the hardest to do. Even with all the spiders and fucking Miros vultures trying to stop me. That was just like someone having fun on the uh, the pressure dial, you know, turning it up and down. Okay, the first jump is the most awkward somehow. There we go. Oh, I didn't have any food. I think I did have food actually. Two bucks from Wonder. I'm heading off now. Bye, Andrew. Raining man. Thanks for joining in. I know it's probably not quite the same experience as the 4 a.m. secret streams, but... I've got to, you know, share the rain world with the masses a little bit. But thanks for that, Wonder. Hell nah. Not five kidneys. Wait. Is the spider in the hole with me? Where the fuck is the spider? Fuck off? I think I hit it. Ow. Okay, well that was turned out okay in the end. Not even bad. Who knows I'm going to be able to get as much uh, food as last time, though. I struggled with food on previous cycles. Last time I had a lot of it. I have some spears. Ow. Ooh, those are extra gross sounds that time. Want those? There you go. You give me your lantern, maybe? They're all fucking off down their little hole. Infinite spears. Free of charge, except also give me your lantern. They're not gonna give me the lantern. Fuck them. Scav moment. Hang on. I gotta kill all these dudes. Ah, uh, I killed that one with a fucking invalid spear. Piece of shit. That's a scav. Spears? Yes, the lantern. Finally. Give me that. Alright, things are looking up. I just have to find a way to kill these mice uh, really efficiently. Here we go. Shooting gallery. Oh, fuck me. That could not have gone worse. What are they doing? Come back down. 
They're just out of reach. Can I do this? Oh! These fuckers. I'm wasting the entire cycle doing this. Hey! There's one. Let me out. I'm stuck. Fucking coming for you. Who? Damn it. Here they come. Where am I? Oh fuck, what the? I don't even know what's happening anymore. Okay, that's enough. Okay, give me the lantern. Just go. Probably not enough time left at this point, right? Oh god, that's not gonna work. Maybe I can do the secondary shelter, like the halfway shelter. That's the, the only chance I think I have. Let's see if I can remember where that was. Spider monster, just run away from it. No need to stop for the broadcast this time. Okay, it was down here, I think. Yes, oh, it's right there. Not even hard. Okay, easy. That is big progress. Should my gaster iterator adaptation be named 66 misheard intervals or 66 shattered pieces? Definitely misheard intervals. I like that one a lot. 66 red balloons. Yeah, so that's the when the names are that long, they become ancient names instead of iterator names. Is the thing. I'm not sure exactly what governs it. The iterators have. Although now I have to farm all that food up again to get to the actual uh, shoreline shelter. That'll be fun. Mice. Okay, good start. That's what you want to do. Wait, that one's coming back. Hmm. Okay, no point chasing it. There's probably going to be spider monsters in here to kill anyway. Oh, speaking of which, hi there. Spider monster. Wait, they have... Oh my god. Those are different spiders. Very novel. Why am I moving so erratically? Did I get with the trank darts? What the fuck? Why am I floating? The spider's on me? What the fuck is happening? Holy shit. I have no idea what that was. He was just carrying me around, yeah. Uh, the lantern. Where's my lantern? I need that. I have the spears, I don't care. How did 
did that miss? I didn't get like any food from killing that spider creature. This mouse is gonna tank for the other mouse. Ooh, perfect shot, nice. The real names are Bluebow and Redbow, yes, that is true. <laughs> the scabs look a lot like spiders uh, in silhouette actually. Limbs. Got lots of limbs, for sure. Okay. I need to go back for food, though. Otherwise, I can't progress. This is a good room for food, it looks like. Or, it was until one second ago. All the mice are gone. Nice! Okay. One good shot, and we're good to go. Not floor. God damn it. Oh, ho, ho. the platforming in this game. It's like optimized to be frustrating sometimes. Use a spear there, for God's sake. Have a spear. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is kind of Terraria-esque music, you're right. I can go to the right. Somehow. Oh, nice. Okay. There was a spider monster on the bridge once. This jump. They patched it to make it easier in down for thankfully. As did they this one. Would Spearmaster play Terraria? I guess so. <laughs> that was a very long distance suck, but it worked. For fast acting umbilical cords. They have a cartoon owl sampled on that soundtrack. Um, I guess I might as well take a pearl into the shelter instead of a spear. More valuable in theory. Uh, all right, I got enough karma. We're good. We're so excited for this. The, the playthrough in general? Did he just join the stream, or is there something really interesting here? Meeting Bluebo would be cool, I guess. I might give Bluebo, like, the, uh, the lore pearl concealed in my rectum the entire time. And progress the plot at an alarming rate. Oh, wait. The shelter. That's what- <laughs> The shelter first. That's what I'm missing. There we go. I was looking forward to seeing Bluebo. That's that's the highlight. Five Pebbles is exciting, but he hates you usually, and he's a stinky boy. Uh, and Bluebo is like your your homie. 
Wait, is that seven red suns? There's sort of a sun shape on the iterator's head in that sketch there. That could be SRS. <laughs> That's the first, the world's first uh, SRS fan art. Before DeviantArt got their hands on them. Look at the region name. Oh, Waterfront Facility. It's not Shoreline. Bom, bim, bom, bom, bim. That is different. Um, <laughs> I did the kelp joke. Wait, I did it. I escaped. Remember in the first streams I did, I I was laughing at that pipe down there, like at the thought that you could fall down but still somehow escape. I just did it. I'm a big boy. Yeah, fuck you, kelps. <laughs> Oh, this is different. It's it's still shaded. Does this wait, there's green shit. Is Moon still alive? Has Moon not collapsed yet? Because if there's shade, that would imply there's a superstructure above me, which means that I think Moon might still be here. That's exciting. All right, get fucked, Salamander. Just lifting its ass in the air. Perfect spear target. We're so blue back. <laughs> okay, this place is a little bit destroyed still. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, but uh, I think maybe I'm on a mission to get, um, as no significant harassment said, to get five pebbles to chill the fuck out for a second and maybe stop killing Bluebow before she dies. Of course, knowing the future, uh, I do not succeed, which is sad, but well, something will happen. Wait, is this the garbage wastes? Yeah, you can take the, take the spears, whatever. Oh no, Bluebow's over here. She's to the left this time for some reason. in the garbage waste area. Okay, salamander. Screen, please scroll. Uh, I could do a backflip to hit this dude. Or that. Okay. Ooh. Good vibes. The music is nice. Is this the, the random gods theme or is this something else? Oh. So <laughs> I was looking at chat. I just like heard something coming closer and I reflexively through the spear. I didn't even mean to. Like I, that was a, a neutral creature. not random gods. I've listened to the soundtrack of Downpour because I was looking for um, music for my last video. Oh, I know this one, but I don't know where any of it plays. Ugh, excuse me. That's a different iterator that time. Hmm, which one is that? cycle. I love Spearmaster too. What a well-designed organism. Creationism has its perks, you know. And by creationism I mean being created by a sentient entity. I can still eat the jellyfish, I assume, if I want to. Oh, they're not very good though. Ooh, jetfish. Wait, is there something killing me? Or 
No. Durable fruit, dude. This is a complete dead end. Okay. Fine. There might be something below here if I get a, a jetfish. Oh yeah, there is. I need a jetfish to uh, not die though. Jetfish, hang on. Want the fruit? Take the fruit, jetfish. What are you doing? Right, the fact that they give me so much blue fruit means I probably have to uh, get a jetfish here. It's mandatory. What's the talk of das zombies? You don't know if pooping spears is a good design? It's a great design. I have infinite spears. What more do you want? Oh, don't drown. Jellyfish is gonna zap me. You're talking about his Rain World fanfic? Oh, Das Zombies does a fanfic. I've heard of the iterator logs, I didn't realize that's what it was. Fascinating. I might be into that actually, once I've played through it all myself and I catch up on the actual lore. Maybe that would be fun. What was that throw, dude? Spear novice throw. Iterator logs is kind of the obvious name for a, a fan fiction, I guess, yeah. There's mods in development. The fact that the entire DLC is kind of in itself a fan fiction makes me a bit more receptive to uh, that kind of shit, you know? It eases the transition. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Fuck! <laughs> I always turned into a backflip and hit the lizard. The squid just happened to be in the way again. That's not gonna happen, I don't think. Uh, oh well. I can always just sleep again if I need to. I don't have much time. Oh, hi, squid. Insane how much this community blew up five seconds after Video Cult got the rights back from Adult Swim. What? There's, is there a story there? <laughs> Adult Swim? I don't know the deep lore of this game, apparently. Fucking Adult Swim is involved. These goddamn jetfish. I have the fruit. Come eat the fruit, goddammit. What are you doing? Andrew, I challenge you to write a 10-page text like you're a Rain World Ancient. That sounds like a huge pain in the ass. Oh, it's not the best publisher, I see. Noted, as someone who's uh, <laughs> kind of passively looking for a game publisher at the moment. That's good information to have. Fucking jellyfish, get off me. That tentacle just reached across space and time. Yeah, got the jetfish. All right, we're good. I probably could have made that without a jetfish, actually, but that's better safe than sorry. Sorry. Fuck, 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 fuck. Help, 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 help. Wait, I'm fine. Uh... Okay, somehow it took the jetfish instead of me. I was trying to throw the jellyfish at it. That didn't work, clearly. Still free food, though. Salamander. Sacrificial jetfish. Happens a lot in these streams, it seems. You gotta throw Yoshi into the pit to make progress. Ok, 
Okay, I just want to go down there. Oh wait, this is the actual entrance to shoreline, isn't it? Like the um I recognize this room. But it looks like a drainage system now for some reason. Wait, the leeches, fuck. That snail can knock the leeches off, can't it? Knock the leeches off. Yeah. Nice, nice. I love you, snail. You get to live because of that. The lower rooms are the same, but they're less flooded, I guess. Probably can't eat those. Hi, Mr. Scavenger. Want these? Hell yeah. Ooh, a shelter. Nice. I recognize the shelter. This is where I got stuck, and I had to do that really scary swimming segment. Uh, when I was trying to bring the last pearls back to Bluebo as the survivor. I know this room. Nice. Fun fact, you can find Slug Cat in a US government patent site. This was done by the devs to try to fight some of the Adult Swim BS regarding copyright and even reveal some concept art. I... This sounds like the kind of thing I, <laughs> I might be happier just not knowing about. It sounds like a, a big stupid clusterfuck. Actually, copywriting the uh, the genome of a slug cat to make a purpose life form IRL. Right. I don't think this is the way forward, though, was it? I think it was actually back up here. Oh, fuck. Go back. I think Bluebow is one of those other pipes. Yeah, the rightmost one. Mm, yeah, you're not going to be able to link stuff in chat. Uh, I think it filters those if you're not a mod. the fuck is this? This is new. Uh, what is this zone? There's a broadcast at the top of the tower. Oh, that makes sense. Is this the same tower that had the pearl before? I've lost kind of my sense of direction here, because it looks so different. Yeah, this is the same one, I think. Remember the vulture derping out here in the Survivor playthrough? Speaking of which, I hope there's no vulture derping out. There's the pearl. Where's the broadcast, though? There it is. I see it. There's no white lizard here this time, apparently. It hasn't been born yet, I guess. If, if blue is still here, probably in the distant past. Let's go. Forced message. Big Sister Moon, five pebbles. Didn't we already see this? Source node trace. Looks to the moon root. Looks to the moon com six. Five pebbles root. Please respond. 
You, you, you cannot. Forced Bribro. Not blockable. I know receiving these. Oh. The more I learn about this, uh, the, the less pleasant the situation seems between Bluebo and Five Pebbles. Glad I landed in water. Probably would have been enough to kill me otherwise. Okay, well now I know where I know where I'm going. Classic blue bow. Can you make it to the top right without a squid? Um, I've done it with a squid before. Can I kill these? Kinda. Get off. Okay. They're uh, sleeping on the job for a sec. This is all a very different area. Hold on, this area is actually it's a lot darker than I'm used to. There's a shelter up there? Where even is this? Uh, I don't see how to get up there. Maybe with that ladder I can? Um. <laughs> that was a very silly spear. Oh, this is going to be a fun jump. If you do the triple combo ultra slug slide back boost flop hop, you can do it without a squid. Yes. I'm sure you can. Oh, food. Fid. Okay, I might have to eat some snails. We're gonna have some escargot. Direct hit. They heal you for jack shit, though. That's not gonna be enough. Uh, I have a lot of time though. I can maybe just press onward. You can fly vanilla with frame perfect inputs. What kind of game would it be if you couldn't fly with frame perfect inputs, really? The devs just aren't trying hard enough. Uh, okay, where the fuck am I trying to go here? Like. Just further to the right, down there, I guess? I'll try eating the bubble fruits after they pop, I guess. See if that, if that works. Seems like not. One more try. No. Fruits don't work. Is this the other side of that big tower? They're on that juice diet that Steve Jobs had. Uh, Chad, I'm not sure if you know what vegan means. Oh, there's jack shit here. That always feels bad when there's like an accessible area, but it doesn't lead anywhere. I wish there was less of that in this game. Uh, oh, there's a fucking leech trying to drag me down. Great. 
Is there even a path through here? No, it's a dead end. God damn it. Um, go back, take the middle pole up. How far back? Like, all the way to the beginning? Those three exits were? Because that's the last time there was a, a middle pole anywhere. Up right. That one specific ramp makes really weird noises. That hole, I see it. Um, this is where I came from, wasn't it? Like, I, I came back because I couldn't rest at the shelter here. Oh, hi, white lizard. I should have had a spear. Wait, snail? Help me. Help me, snail. About 10 seconds too late, but good try. Spears. Have fun. Oh, got some beets. Okay, it was a different middle pole. I'm getting that, that idea. Oh, wait, this is uh, Blue Bow's Iggy. We're getting closer, I guess. There we go. Waterfront vibe. It's quite a vibe. That's a really shitty screen transition right there. I thought I couldn't even go up at first. It's only been a 3 hour 30 minute stream? Uh, yeah, apparently. It feels like it's been longer, you're right, Outsin. I guess I've just been making good progress on this character compared to the, uh, the previous ones I've played. I'll save one for leech removal. I don't think it's gonna give me enough food to sleep anyway if I kill that last one. Uh, is there a middle pole? Check the geometry. The pole I speared the snail on. What? There's a pole there? I don't get it. Two rooms back. Okay. So in this room. Like this room. Oh, it just scrolls this icy. I'm really just used to looking for the pipe exits. That's why I didn't see that, I think. Uh, okay. Hi, Salamander. That's not gonna work. Might need a rock. Where's the salamander hiding? 
Uh, okay. I don't even know what happened. That's gameplay. <laughs> Theoretically. Yeah, we have the uh, the blue boat Iggy now. The, the the yellow one is looks to the moons. Oh, if you jump out of the pipe, you can just grab that immediately. That's why I found it so hard to get up last time. There's a blue lizard I can eat for food. I don't let it kill me immediately. Uh, which way is it facing? It's, it's picked a very defensible position here. Unless it comes at me a bit, I'm not sure how I attack it really. Do I have a second spear? I think so. Is it just not going to move? I have to YOLO it. Nice. My face when looks to the moon gives looks to the moon. She must at some point. Otherwise that would just be silly. Those snails can survive a spear, huh? This time the axolotl's in a better position. I'd love to see it. Oh, this fucker. Without a rock, you can't really attack them from the front. It just doesn't work. What an awkward little area. Not much time. He's just gonna hide up there, it seems. What? What do you mean? Why can't I spear this wall? What the fuck? There we go. The wall's just in a different place than it seems to be. That's the problem. Die. Okay, do I go back now? Uh, there's a little bit of time. I'm gonna be greedy. Go right fast. And do! Fuck off for just a second, kelp. Uh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It had a spear still stuck in it from before, I was lucky. Go away. Trying to climb these ladders quickly is like the hardest task in the entire game. There's a shelter. How do I get to it? There's a white lizard below me. Um, I can't see it anymore. Oh, it's this room. I know this room. Okay, if I just outrace the white lizard... I can make it. What was the point of that upper area then? Because it just took me back to the shelter anyway. Up through the narrow pipe. Very intense cycle there. I missed a path up on the left side of the room. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I didn't try to go left or right. I only have one Dragon Slayer point? How? Gotta get back up there again. Unless Dragon Slayer is just calculated differently with Spearmaster? I don't know. Well, you only unlock the other passages once you get Survivor. I guess that means I have a passage. That's always nice. remix setting. Okay, that axolotl is going to stay dead for a bit, which is good for me. I appreciate that. Um, so, can I get over this pipe if I try hard enough? It doesn't look like I can. Or at least it doesn't want me to. I think I have to go back to that um, the shelter room, but just stay on the left-hand side. Oh wait, no, the salamander's still here, alright. That's annoying. That's one good hit. Okay, does the kelp respawn too? Of course it does. Hang on. Axolotl friend's gonna come back for me if I'm not fast. <laughs> Those are some janky spears, holy shit. Free food, I like it. Uh, there it is, I see it. Okay, get the spears before going through room transitions. I've learned this much. Oh, the original version of the game didn't show shelters on the map? That's brutal. The game is brutal enough with the quality of life uh, changes. Okay. Where am I? My spear ladder? It's worth a try. Lots of time. Uh oh. This is bad. Okay, don't fall down there. <laughs> There's a kelp. That's a really hard jump. There you go. Sup, you just joined. Welcome to the stream. This is Spearmaster. If you're wondering, I've done Gourmand off-stream before this, but uh, this is my first one that I've publicly streamed uh, of the DLC. There's nothing up here. I guess I just have to feed myself to the kelp. Uh, where is the ground here? Delicious, delicious kelp. Some nori. Konbu. That's where MSG comes from. Do you know that? MSG is a, a Japanese scientist isolated the savory flavor of konbu kelp that's used to make dashi broth. So. They probably do taste pretty good. MSG for blood. see anything right now, holy shit. Especially not that kelp. Luckily I had spears. Okay. Shaded moment. This is the shaded shoreline now, it's not even the citadel. We're underneath Bluebo's uh, fat, dumpy ass. No offense, Bluebo. But like, those superstructures are wide as fuck. Where do I go? Oh, it's down there. I guess that can, contextually, that can be a compliment, yeah. A lot of people are into that. I 
we have like a blue uh, graffiti, like those things, the symbols on the back, and five pebbles, those are green. And blue bow, they're blue, funnily enough. What was that noise? Wait, this is a leg. I'm entering a leg right now, that's a bit... I didn't think about that. I have to now actually climb the superstructure. Oh, they're blue because blue bow. Ascend the blue bow. Let's go. I'm excited. It's going to be a rot free iterator superstructure. What an exciting prospect. Oh, but she does have spiders. That's less, less exciting. This is a very similar room to uh, what Five Pebbles had. I'm sure the iterators don't have, like, sensory neurons, they're just made of metal. But it's still kind of gross to have spiders crawling inside you. Like, didn't fight No, Bluebo described, uh, the ancients as skin parasites that had political opinions. <laughs> Lobos lakes filled with spiders. Not even kidding. You just have fucked up normal spiders. Great. Maybe the <laughs> when uh, Five Pebbles gave himself the rot, at least it cleared out all of the normal spiders that just live in iter iterator superstructures. Almost blasted myself into oblivion there. First thing. I drew moon that time. I wonder why. The world's first fan art drawn from inside the subject. Blue leg. Oh, I'm getting lag. It's very rare that this game lags for me. And it's usually not consistent. I got a couple spikes just then though. There's mice. Interesting. Computer can't handle Bluebo. How often do I die? Like in real life? I haven't yet, but uh, in the game, I want to say pretty, pretty often. Like probably quite a bit. Oh fuck. That was a pretty clutch dodge. I have enough food. I don't, I don't need to slug with these guys. Outsend did fan art. Nice. I, I'll check that at the end of the stream. Um, the pack stream got no fan art, which is... I don't know if that's ever happened before, actually. Besides some of the early comment response streams, maybe. Oh, it's just unusual. Oh, there's a spider. I can just ignore it, I think. I'm so much better at perceiving these areas than I, when I started the game. Uh, hi there. Are you coming? Spider Chan? Fuck. It baited me. Oh, it's one of those. That's bad. Wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Pull a Fucking hell. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, that's not good. Fuck off, dude. Can you just. Okay, spiders. Great. Love them. Did the off streams get fanner? I don't remember. They might have. Spider unboxing. Right, so I probably don't want to hit those if possible, because they just spawn more spiders. She poured me a brimming glass of spiders. Yep, this is where they get them from the spider bake sale. They go to... Looks to the moon's leg and farm them up. There was stream art before Mother 3. That's, I'm assuming, contradicting someone else who said there wasn't. There definitely... Mother 3 was one of the 
the later streams I did, or the more recent ones relatively to uh, when I think I got stream art. Oh, he's clogged in the fucking tunnel. Get out of there. Oh yeah, the tarantula meat lore from the last Gourmand stream I did on Discord was that apparently spiders don't have muscles in the the ends of their legs, they only have muscles at the base. And they're hydraulically actuated, so you can't eat them like a crab. If you were looking to eat one in the first place, which... That's optional, of course. Uh, spider convention. They're all just hanging out. What do I do about that? Oh, trying to sneak up behind me and get back. Get out of here. Spider Chen. Okay, all the coalesce beads fall into the pit. You love to see it. What is that yellow thing? Karma flower. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait, they don't fall into the pit. They can climb. That's bad. I got one shot at the karma flower. Nice. <laughs> That's like a party trick. best so far. That's a big spider. I can see that. That fucking spider up there. Um, where? There we go. Oh, nice. Knocked them right off their feet, Joker. And spiders have a lot of feet to knock them off of, as we all know. It's a lesser known variant of the bigger they are, the harder they fall mantra. The more feet they have, the more you can knock them off of the feet. Okay, they busted out their jankiest platforming. Uh, is that a spider? Maybe? I can't really see. Ooh, the orange lizards are back. Nice. a bad angle. Okay, climb up. Nice, 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 nice. Another karma flower. Ooh. <laughs> That's such a visceral reaction when you touch a pole mimic. It's like, ah. They're gross. Oh, Miros Vulture. Great. What fucking asshole designed the Miros Vulture? In universe, that is. I don't even mean which one of the devs. I mean, like, someone in universe had to create this thing. What's so karmic about the flower? It, uh, it conserves your karma. I don't know why. That's just what it does. It contains void fluid or something, probably. Uh, he's just chilling out up there. Okay, how do I even... Is there a, a passage? Wait, don't clog the pipe mouse, I need that. Oh, I see it. Well, this vulture is not gonna let me through. There's no way in hell that I'm getting up there with that vulture hanging out. There's just one iterator who really likes to make the edgiest organisms possible. It could just be five pebbles, who the fuck knows? Or maybe Bluebo's just fucked up like that. What do you do about this guy? Like this this thing has a laser beam, right? Like I read that somewhere. It literally shoots a laser beam at you. Suck the fluids? If it ever appears. Uh, are you coming? Mr. Vulture? What is it doing? Oh, 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 it's coming. That was scary. Go, go, go. Before it comes back, it's back. Go. How did I live? That thing's fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so fucking dumb. It's just like, spider. Killed the spider, it became ten spiders. I don't know. 
<laughs> Kill yourself. Okay. This will be fun. This isn't Ram Andrew. How would I have survived that in Ram? Swapped to the spider? Back to 69 viewers, nice. We're gonna add a spider to Ram? I don't know, maybe. Can you hold still for a sec? There we go. Swamps to the spider is an iterator's name. Probably a robot spider. It'd be kind of silly to have just a normal spider in a game about controlling robots. Uh, that's a big spider. Really big spider. Wow. Spiders of unusual size. I wonder what's to the right path. I've never checked it out. Is this the green spider or the red spider? One of them is safe to kill and one of them is not. They're leaving me alone for now. Which is alright. Oops. That's a red spider. Ow. Take cover. Is it it's coming for me? Or, or what? Oh wait, I got tranked. Wake up. There we go. Fucking hell, man. Hellman's mayonnaise. Uh... Is he camping me? Oh my fuck. Oh, the trank, it's kicking in, it's kicking in. It doesn't know how to pathfind to me, fortunately, it's too dumb. Take that, sir. Get out of here. Just spear ladder. Easy spear ladder in. It's like a sniper duel, yeah. Hmm, good noises in this area. Oh my god, these jumps are annoying. There we go. I want to be on that one anyway. Hmm. Ram's your favorite game, or one of the favorite games. Thank you. Not even out yet. Um, but, you know. I'm sure we'll pull it off. How did I get up here before? I was just doing, like, really good jumps, I guess. Oh, here comes the fucking Nero sculpture. Everyone's favorite guy. Oh, there's the laser beam. Yep, yep, this is great. Wow. Spider's coming around the other side to kill me again. To double kill me. You looking at this shit? What's on screen right now? Ultra killed me, yeah. Doopy doo. -doo. 
It's very pretty looking, yes. Lots of rainbow colors. What's wrong with that mouse? Is it being eaten by a spider? There we go. It's fine now. The downpour regions do look very good. They're they're on par with the base game at least. Um, the uh, what was it? The outer expanse that was like even more greebled than normal. That area had so much detail that I couldn't tell what was going on half the time. Evil spider is approaching. Uh, there's a spider above me. I can see it. Lessipedes are coming. They're still coming. Red spider spawns up here somewhere too. Bluebo's got some explaining to do. Oh, the right path is easier? I should probably have tried the right path by now. I mean, you're not wrong. I'll try that next time if I die. Boom. This is the much more reliable way to climb these. It takes longer though. Is it Bluebo's fault? I don't know, maybe it is. How do you know she didn't design the Miros Vulture herself? Like, she just took a bet. <laughs> like, <laughs> this'll be funny. And then she's kind of stuck with it, like she doesn't really know what to do. It was just like a spur-of-the-moment decision that was ill-considered. What? Excuse me? There we go. Goodbye, Pulmonic. Bluebo would never. You don't know what Bluebo is like in her younger, wilder days. Designing fucked up vulture birds. Oh, but no, 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 no. That's bad. How do I get out of here? How do I even get up? Yeah, what, what am I doing? That's a coalescipede. Fuck. Oh, hi. Uh -huh. I bet you for pickle. I can't spear that. Okay, I gotta go down. Okay, hide in the pipes. There's a good good idea. Maybe the mirror's vulture will eat the spiders. Maybe that. That would be nice. Oh, oh the spiders will eat me. Fuck my ass. Okay. Let's try the right path. How goes the murder slugging? Oh, it's it's all right, Toby. It's been quite nice. I'm in the the first like real new area so far, which is exciting. It's rather difficult though. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't do the food quest on the Grimad. I, I missed one thing. So I can go back and, and do that if I want to, but... It would just mean farming a passage, basically, going back to Shoreline. The fuck? This mouse is, like, indestructible. Hardhead Johnson over here. What? Are you kidding?
indestructible mouse. There we go. Hacking hamster. <laughs> Okay, right path for sure this time. Right path, easy. Can I not go up here? Oh, this is the way out. There's a giant spider in here. Of course there was. I haven't played all the campaigns up till this point. Just Gourmand and Survivor. Giant enemy spider. It was just in the pipe. Like I couldn't see where I was going because it was filled by a spider twice my weight. Janky. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> he tanked for his friend. There we go. Often green spiders just run from you? Oh, really? Maybe, well, I'm pretty sure that one in the tunnel was a green spider and it just killed me instantly. Like, it's, oh, yeah, there was, it's in the tunnel again. Fuck. Visibility issue. This is like... Visibility issues are a mechanic in this game. I don't even think they're trying to avoid it. It's just like part of the experience. It's like you can't see what you're doing. Okay, funny mice. Got one. The spider is there. You can see it, right? Spider. How do I avoid that? There's another spider inside the tunnel. I think it's gone. Okay. Uh, just avoid the spider. Just ignore it completely. It's fine. Okay, stay inside. What the fuck was that? Uh, what fun. Hang on. Just juke that one. Pull that one. Why do I have a rock? Okay, we're fine. Get a good angle to kill this orange lizard. Or just let it fall over. That works too. Fuck. Ooh, got caught without a spear. This is bad. Ooh, -hoo 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 -hoo. that was sketchy as fuck, dude. I think I've made them stupid somehow because their leader wasn't in the room. Maybe I'm not sure. What? What was the hitbox doing? Move spider. All right, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm just gonna say goodbye for a sec. 
he's struggling. He's really struggling. Oof! Alright, full food. Which way from here? Top one? Maybe? This looks like I'm already inside the superstructure. This isn't leg type architecture in here. Uh, oh my god, so much shit. Is it a green spider or a, a, the other one? I'm just gonna ignore it. Alright, worked out. Is this a dead end? Oh, fuck it is. With a drop wig in it. Fuck, that drop wig is asleep. But also, thank you for being a sleep drop wig. Okay, this is just literally a dead end in here. Where do any of these pipes go? Wait, there are just the three pipes here? Oh my god. Where am I going? Fuck. Oh, you're... The dead end had camera scroll. Oh. Just have to go up in that room somehow. There we go. I have enough food immediately. I don't even need to really hunt the mice if I don't want to. Or if it's not convenient, I guess, is the better way to put it. Those are just for free. What skug am I playing next? Uh, I don't know. Artificer? Rivulet? One of those, probably. Okay, spider is out of my way for now, it looks like. That's a green one, I think. <laughs> Ugly looking. Artificer is recommended. Yeah, that's an earlier one, so I should probably do Artie next. Rivulet and Saint back to back has a good progression. Okay. Um, is there a way up in this room? Oh, I can I can just go up through there. I didn't realize that. I thought that was a dead end. There we go. Visibility issues again. As the mechanic. Oh wait, this is back outside. Is that a hidden pipe? <laughs> That's like a hidden entrance. Oh, fucked up. How am I conjuring spears? It's my power. I'm the spear master. Okay, all the lizards are converging on my position now. Great. Alright, any second now, please. That did not work. I'm not dead yet. Probably dead. It's a fast shelter. There we go. Hmm. So going outside is just a waste of time at, over there, I think. You're stuck in a cycle of violence. That's the name of the game. 
Except not literally, the name of the game is Rain World. Fucking indestructible hamster again. There we go. Getting through this tunnel with the spider is just like kind of a a coin flip it seems. I think it's in the tunnel this time. I might be able to just ignore it. Yeah, it's fucking blocking me in the tunnel. Yucky. That's the different spider even. Not even the same one. Okay. Oh, hi. Bye. <laughs> what was that dodge? That was ridiculous. Indestructible Hamster was your name in middle school? That's an iterator name also. Okay, what? There's another spider clogging the tunnel now. It's the green one. Now I die. Because I fought the green spider. Fucking hell. I can't believe the tunnel restocked itself with a new spider because I, I went down again. Like I'd already gotten past the spider. Can you go away? Rain World is the nightmare blunt rotation game. One time you're seeing deep sansara shit, and the other you're lizards ragdolling into the ground. Uh, that's a pretty good description, yeah. Mandatory tube spider. That's pretty much giant enemy tube spider. Pebbles would fuck with you while you're high. <laughs> He already beams the power of, you know, the knowledge of the gods into your brain with a laser beam. So, that probably counts as fucking with you while you're high. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. I was ready for it that time. Forget the water pipes, it's spider pipes time. We're in the spider drainage zone. You gotta drain the spiders out of blue bow. She's too full of spiders. Okay, no spiders in that pipe that time. What was that jump? Okay, back to the start. Lubo appreciates the spider extermination. <laughs> oh my god. I hit it twice. That was not necessary. NSH is called Green Bow for a reason. NSH would have the good weed, I think. I can picture that. He has that energy. Oh, there's the big spider now. Uh, just don't... Fuck with me, big spider. This fucking room, dude. This room. You hate it. You hate to see it. Uh, what the fuck? No. Okay, they all left. Thank God. Going up. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, can I make that? Yes. Wait. Oh, but I'm just back here now. In this, the hell chamber. That's not much fun at all. 
Go away. Alright, spider held. Uh, yes, I see how to go up. I see it. I need a spear ladder though. Okay, only small spiders, they're fine. Uh, great. Spider tunnel. You love the spider tunnel. Fun spider, evil spider. Uh, where did it go? Just like a real spider. I don't know where the fuck it went. Just for good measure, kill the innocent mouse. It might have been a spider in a past life. Oh, this section sucks. What is this dude doing? He's just camping up there. Can you come down? Uh, well, that's a fucking red spider parasite. Not much time left in the cycle. What do I do about that? I could spear ladder, I guess, up here? Really slowly? Oh, fuck. Oh, now it's moving. Fuck me. Okay, well, don't need the spear ladder anymore. The spider decided to f fuck off. It really is like a real spider. That's how they behave. That wasn't good enough of a throw. Okay. I really want to make sure I get this. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Please be a shelter up here. This has been a long-ass section. No, there is no shelter here. Fuck this, I'm going back inside. Right pipe is closer, got it. Hi mouse. Go walk into that spider's mouth for me. Uh, giant red spider, that's unfortunate. You don't like to see it. Okay, uh, left or right from here, what do you think? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think hitting the spider's legs should do something. Uh, go up. Up in that room to the, the right, I imagine. Oh, fuck me. No. I think I'm safe just for a second. I'm running out of time. Night. This fucking spider. That's a death pit. Oh. Is that close? No, stay in there. You hate Moon's exterior. <laughs> well, you know. You don't have a superficial relationship with Moon in my house. to move up the pipe mouse. Thank you. Oh, there's the spider coming out. Okay, thank you for vacating the pipe. I appreciate that. I 
ignore the big spider, jump. Orange lizards are coming. Hi, orange lizard. Uh, please let me kill you. You have a hitbox. You just run. Where's this one going? Nowhere useful. I think I outran them, more or less. Okay. Nice movement, very slick. Nice smooth slug cat, keep it up. I don't know what kind of spider that is. It's got me though. Okay, got some fresh spears. All the way up here, probably. This is actually faster. <laughs> they have the rhythm. Woo! Nice. Spider is uh, sleeping over there for now. Perfect. Okay, we're, we're moving pretty well this time. Motoring. Oh, the orange. The oranges. Uh, drop wig? Is that a fucking drop wig? Or is it just another spider? I can't even tell. I have to find out. That's a spider. Okay, well, okay. Mouse. Yes. Be eaten by the spider. This is stupid. Okay. Kinda worked. <laughs> <laughs> the spider just lunged at me. What an idiot. Okay, up, up somehow. Just keep climbing. Don't look back. Uh, can I make that? Yes, just barely. More spears. Don't think, just do. This room, I recognize it. I know where the shelter is. Pebbles has the same room in his leg. Shelter, right? That's that's a way? This is where the shelter was in Pebbles. Fuck. Spiders. They're not too scary yet, though. This had the rot. Uh, in pebbles, didn't it? Oh, there's the shelter. I see it. Yes! Fuck yeah, you can stay in here, mouse. Jesus Christ. Small enemy spider. Holy shit. That was terrifying. We're blue back! <laughs> Level 2 Karma, big win. Big win for Spearmaster. Is that a blue lizard? Yes. What are you doing there, dude? That's true blue bow. Ooh, spider god. You don't like it. Uh, okay. I'll just be moving on then. Bye. Bye, everyone. We have to go now. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. What are my opinions on cinnamon? I like cinnamon a lot. It's a key ingredient of French toast, which I've, I've talked about previously on stream. I also am a big fan of cinnamon buns with the uh, cream cheese icing, specifically. 
cinnamon or butterscotch. I don't really have much opportunity to eat butterscotch in my day-to-day -day life. Like, I'm really not sure what it even tastes like outside of a, a Werther's original or something. In terms of my relationship with the food stuff, I have to give it the cinnamon. to grab the pole. <laughs> this corpse dives out of the hole for no reason. Great. I should try baking butterscotch cinnamon pie. I was, I had mine too at one point, but um, the only issue is that uh, making a pie crust, that's the only difficult part in that one recipe. And I guess I could just find like a pre-bought um, store pie crust. But it seems like if you're going to go through the effort of making a butterscotch cinnamon pie, you gotta probably make the crust yourself. I slipped, yeah. Toby Fox re reblogged a butts pie on Twitter once. I saw a recipe for it that looked pretty good, and I hope. Uh, I don't actually know where it went. Did Mel send that? If you know of that recipe, Mel, then uh, can you like DM it to me or something? I still kind of want to make it at some point. That was you, okay. I'll be sure to send a, a picture if I, if I make it. Okay, so hold up. I have to hold down, but also up at the same time. It's really awkward. There was a nub. There was a nub sticking out. Okay. Five bucks from Ave Metatarsalia Enthusiast. Thank you. A lot of effort to make a butterscotch cinnamon pie, but it's worth it as hell. Genuinely the best pie I've ever had. That sounds encouraging. The recipe that I think Mel sent didn't actually look that difficult outside of the crust. It, it seemed pretty simple, if anything, which is part of the reason it was so appealing. I do like cooking sometimes, but I'm much more motivated to make recipes that are like really easy and efficient to make. Like, I, I don't usually try to make things that are really fancy or uh, take that much effort. But if something is, like, pretty good but also pretty easy, that's when I, I take to making it regularly. Venting to blue bow. Okay. I think before I must have held neither up nor down. It's the only explanation for what happened. Mm. Go down. What? <laughs> That's a janky transition there. Oh boy. And then now what? Just, just jump. Oh yeah, that works. You used to love baking. What happened? Fuck you, spider. Spider's in the fucking way. Spider, holy shit. There we go. Where where am I? I'm up here. This room sucks. Look at this shit. Like what the fuck? Very bad room. 
I don't like it. That was a cool shot, though. Go right for a broadcast? Aw, oh, hell yeah. Read the Discord logs directly out of Bluebo's brain cells at this point. What is the geometry here? Please inform me. Okay, you can't access that pipe from this screen. I have to go up. Orange lizard immediately. Go. Jump. Arm yourself. There's a white lizard killing a red spider. I'll take it. Do I have enough food? I need one more pit before I'm good to go. Oh, that was almost a hit. This area is scary. This whole area is scary, like every part of this area. This fucking white lizard. Like, bruh. What a bruh moment. What is he doing? Ah, gotcha. That's the last food pip, too. That feels good. Okay. Um, I almost thought there was floor there and just jumped to my death. That is not floor. I think it wants me to do this. What the fuck was that? I just fell off. I have no explanation. God damn it. Killed. Oh god. That was a bad slip. How far back is this? Maybe not that far actually. Uh, yeah, I'm on a keyboard. I think, I couldn't tell where the ceiling was there. Usually when you fall off a spear like that, it's because you try to mount it when the ceiling is too low. But I thought the ceiling was way above me there. So I don't know. Oh yeah, there's no grapple. A survivor, you get the whole grapple worm. But this one's just like, have fun, <laughs> figure it out. Hit something? I hit a green spider <laughs> two screens away. What the fuck? That's fine, I guess. All the coalescipedes just fell through their deaths. The slug cat tried to swing up by swinging left, but it was at a sour spot and distance from the wall and killed itself. Sure. Oh, hi there. Uh, are those two red spiders? <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> I just got telefragged by a spider. This is way more difficult than Pebble's exterior so far. I'm playing with a way more powerful sl slug cat, and it's still harder. Oh, hi. Okay, start the day off with a blue lizard kill. Easy every time. Spearmaster is arguably the hardest campaign? That's bullshit. I've, I haven't heard anyone call Spearmaster the hardest. Although I've heard basically everyone call some slug cat the hardest so far. There's clearly no consensus. This is the longest campaign? I'm already at the moon though. I guess Moon is usually the halfway point to Pebbles anyway, so it's not that far. Yeah, Enot. I know about Enot.
hole there, maybe? Yes, okay. Sofa Thanos, as he's sometimes called. That green spider isn't there anymore, which probably means it's waiting to ambush me in the next room. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, just fly off the edges. There we go. Very good. That's true. Uh, everyone who plays it has a bad time. Is, is it, Monk is supposed to be easy mode, but he's like debuffed in a bunch of weird ways. Even relative to Survivor, I think. Kind of a dick move for the easy mode character. Oops. Bye bye, spider. Have fun being dead. All of you have fun being dead. Okay, bye. Okay, what do I do with this fucking lizard? Ah. Oh, look at that guy's antennas. Holy shit. That guy's crazy. Ooh, the mouth shot. Nice. Definitely the pack leader, but I haven't seen one with antenna that big before. He just had extra big ones. Alright, looks like all the 400 enemies killed themselves in this screen, which is lucky for me. Here comes the big spider, I guess. What now? How did that not hit the, uh, the cyan lizard? Excuse me. Hey, what the fuck? These lizards don't have hitboxes. That's the one thing that consistently frustrates me in this game, is how big the lizard's tail are, uh, is relative to their hitbox. Oh, that's not a fucking... Cool. What? I survived? I'm okay? Nice. It's still alive, though. Damn it. Reduced breath time dies faster to worm grass and coalescipede. What a ripoff. Uh, wait, this just puts me here. Where am I even trying to go? To the right, surely. This is where I just fell off last time. Please don't miss. Yes. Okay, I'm in the hole. That's what we need to do. What are the faded pearls? I'm not sure what that means. Do the, do the colored lore pearls literally just turn white as the monk? That's really weird, if so. How much time? Not a whole lot. Gotta keep it moving. Oh, it's back. Our friend the Neuros Vulture is back. Ooh, broadcast though. Nice. Hang on, spider. Spider was ordered to fuck off while I listened to the Discord group chat. Live broadcast, equipment manifest, wide sweeping diagnostic result. Water 45%. Hydrocarbons 105%. Sulfur uh, 1200%. Silicon 
Phosphate, 65%. There's a sulfur buildup. Bluebow needs more water to flush the sulfur. Severe chemical imbalance. Request fluid transplantation immediately. Warning, no water flow detected in conduits 3, 4, 7, 9, 13, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23. Pressure at critical levels in conduit 4. EM, rapid cooling will be immediately scheduled for affected nodes. However, quantities of slag runoff may reach dangerous levels. Emergency rapid cooling, maybe? Critical system-wide activity should be temporarily suspended to prevent re retroactive damage from resulting seismic shocks. Oh, so emergency, emergency cooling causes an earthquake. Rapid cooling is a preventative regulation only. Emergency maintenance is required. So, uh, shit was going very, very wrong. Is the long and short of that. That's because the moon is collapsing, but um, it also just happens anyway. Uh oh. There's two of them. Are you kidding? Why does there need to be two of them? I'm dead. Where do I respawn? Is it back at the same fucking shelter? This is endless. or the Discord admins. It's a quicker way up, you just need to go up the middle of the room. I haven't seen a way to go up. Like in there? Spear ladder? I guess that, that might be possible. Time, so don't go that way, I guess. <laughs> I like doing that jump, kind of fun. They're all waiting ahead of me still. The uh, the Thunderdome room here. I love the Thunderdome room. Um, that lizard's having a bad time. Miro's Vulture is here. Hi, Miro's Vulture. I'm going to leave now. Disorientation when you go through these transitions is brutal sometimes. There's like three lizards where your body comes out and you can't see yourself. Alright. Time to leave. Nice. There's two pack leaders. Why do they need two? sniper spot here, if they can even climb anymore at this point. Okay. That should take care of those guys. A third one. Why? Just leave me alone, holy shit. I 
to go up there. This is exactly how I died last fuck. Oh boy. The spider is back. Where's the blue lizard? To fight the spider for me. Have fun with that. Blue <laughs> false blue bow. And enjoy. And back we go. Oh wait. I can just do this from the start? This is the same room. I thought for some reason I had to go to the left then come around, but I can just do this. <laughs> well, there's an optimization for you. Stop giving me your toughest spiders. She kind of had for that cycle, and I died from fall damage regardless. There's the spider. Die. Thank you for clearing away from the hole before dying, spider. I appreciate that. Uh, green spider. Hate to see it. Okay, that orange lizard just killed itself. The blue lizard is killing itself. Two more orange lizards. Um, one is failing to eat me. Miros Vulture. Two Miros Vultures. I'm leaving. Uh, we have a white lizard fighting two orange lizards in the tunnel. And I'm dead. Wait. The, the orange lizard still might free me, actually. I have a chance here. Why is the white lizard so much faster than the orange lizards? Spider, kill the lizard. Brush's skull. A spider fell to its death. I'm still alive? I think. Is that its den though? Okay, now I'm good. Spider. Okay. That orange lizard room is really where it gets spicy. Fall damage deaths are preventable. Ooh, bad time to roll. Hey, this is quite a speed up though, I like that. Directly down the pole. this room look more and more like a speed run. Bluebo is definitely after this. This is Bluebo, Mel. Uh, Bluebo's not after this. The, the geometry that I'm repeatedly dying to is Bluebo herself. Okay, 
I love when the spiders fall to their deaths. I love to see it. Bluebo is the tiny person at the end. That's what you think of as Bluebo, yeah. You're right, there are a lot of indie games that like to make respawning diegetic somehow. It's a, it's a common trend, it seems. Okay, uh, I don't like any of this, what I'm seeing here. It's, it's all bad. I hate it. What the fuck? Oh, iterator ball. Nice. I love the iterator ball. Okay, maybe I want to explore it more, because there's a Miros vulture now. Okay, where do I go from here? Sure. Spirit, the speed of sound, holy shit. Oh, it can just come inside. It can fit through a one tile gap. Okay. Vulture infestation. Okay, there's no blue balls to avoid inside Bluebo, but actually getting to her at this point is the challenge, more so than the blue balls that don't exist inside her. Spider. Fucking hell, that thing. I've been playing for a while. Uh, yep. Five hours. Okay, it's already back. That's a green spider. Time to leave. Who knows where the vulture is at this point. I could just... Try to spear ladder up here, see what happens. Ah, you can go up here. That's interesting. Kinda neat. Just fucking hell, I took the spear out. Oh. oh. Wait, this is down to the ball again. I don't want to be here. Can I climb back? No. Is there any way back up there? Fucking hell, guys. A blue lizard gun. Uh, 
pipe and the ball that leads back up there. How about just don't fall off? That's the actual answer. Started the balls, but it's just evolving into madness in real time. Yeah. This is very similar to the stream I did when I got to five pebbles for the first time. By the end, I was just like exhausted and not even giving commentary anymore. It was just a disaster. Spider this time. Fucking perfect. No. At an angle where I can't physically attack it. Okay, two spiders, two lizards, Miros Vulture. Ignore all and go for the jump. I got a free spear ladder. Wait, the vulture's here? That's not fucking fair. Sounds like the uh, the door in Delta Rune. Door theme song. Oh, great, this is janky as fuck. I just used the pipe the whole time? Fuck me. Let me out. How much time? Quite a bit. Quite a bit of time. What was that jump? What? There's like an updraft there. Oh no, there's just less gravity. I'm, I'm getting closer. Let's try this. Nope. I meant backflip. Nope. Uh. I can just make the jump. Right. Really, I'm close. If there's a karma gate up here, I'm killing myself. <laughs> One with an actual requirement, I mean. To the right of the room is a shelter. Uh, why is it shaking like that? Oh, okay. We have the zapper. Shelter to the right. I need food to eat, though. Can I eat this if I throw it? Not in that order, I can't. Fuck 
me. This is like a skill testing little challenge here. Okay, gravity's back. I don't think this is going to work. Hmm, gravity. Wait, that takes me back down. I don't want to go back down. Oh, there's the shelter. If I kill that spider, I might have enough to eat, actually. Um, is this solid ground, though? I cannot tell. I don't know. You! Fucking input red. Where'd it go? I can't see shit. Geometry. It's so unclear. So unclear. Where'd the spider go? That that's where what where is that even hiding? I didn't see that until it moved. Oh, I'm inside the moon. Uh, can I eat the neuron flies? With a spear? I can. Holy shit. I can eat these. Oh, that's an inspector. It's coming. That's coming. That's rainbow. Don't fuck with that one. Okay, quickly get to the shelter. shelter was... where? I already forget what the shelter was. Down, maybe? There it is. Okay. Let me see. Yes. Made it. That's all it takes. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I just ate Bluebo's brain cells. In this case, it makes sense. In any other circumstance, of course, never. Not allowed. Uh, that's progress, holy shit. Oh, I got the Neuron Glow now. Hell yeah. That's actually the one of the two permanent upgrades in the entire game. Hmm. Or do I have the glow? I can't really tell. Let me out. <laughs> oh, I totally do. Hell yeah. How did I get in again? putting a spear in that wall there. Um, here we go. Fuck. <laughs> I was aiming to grab only the lower pole, but I, uh, I didn't press the button fast enough. I need a better jump. There we go. Yeah, 
having the glow would have been helpful while ascending to avoid the spiders. So I think that what causes the tower collapse is the fact that the zero G turns off. It seems like they wouldn't have gone through the trouble to make all the zero gravity tech if they didn't have to uh, actually hold the towers up. Wait, is this guy still aggroed on me? Got no gravity. No, sir. Surely he's not still aggroed on me. That would be silly. All the big flappy neurons are chill. They look like things that kill you, but they don't. Oh fuck, it's unfortunate developments all over again. What's this guy? I think that's just what the, uh, you know, the like brain repairmen with the iterators. Fortunate development, yeah. Surely I got an easy section after that, like, the CBT zone previously. Alright. I think I need to be holding on to the pole. Does the gravity turn back off? There we go. That's what I was looking for. This is just the start to unfortunate developments, but it'll be more fortunate this time, I assume. I can just hop down here. Oh, the, the big neuron fell over. That's so sad. I can't get up. I don't want to throw a spirit moon's uh, neurons here. I could propel myself with them, but it would just not be plate. Can I climb this? Oh, I can. Nice. Eh. Let me up. Okay, when the gravity turns back off, I'll have a better shot. Get up. Get up. There we go. Neurons are the only food, FYI. Oh, I, I do have to eat some, I guess. Uh, but there's no... Wait, there is a cycle timer in here. What does the cycle do inside here? Looks to the moon neural terminus. Whee! Oh, I'm already in the... Uh... Well, it looks at like the central systems bus, but it's not the same, I guess. Did we find her? This is all her. What's my opinion on candy corn? Uh, tastes pretty good, looks great as a homestuck troll horn color scheme. Well, I'm really going now. Where is the exit? To the left, maybe? The good music zone, yeah. Ooh! They have the THX. Sound effect. Okay, grab the pole. Do something. Why is the screen not scrolling? Oops, I, <laughs> I ate a neuron by accident. Ah, I know this room. I know this room. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. I'm gonna have to go eat some neurons. Can I eat this thing? Should I try? It seems rude. Uh, no, it's it's fine. It's okay. I can't eat it though. What happens when the timer runs out? Why is there a timer in here? Yeah, I know this is a shelter, but I need, uh, food. I'm gonna have to just eat some of these neurons, basically. 
as unpleasant as it may be for um, for Moon. <laughs> I'm enjoying Pain World, though I sure am. I love pain. We like pain. There it is. Okay, that's enough. I don't want to take more than I need here. Well, she's going to lose them in the future, but as far as the uh, Spearmaster knows, uh, we're here to save Moon from collapsing, I think, or something like that. Uh, they don't give me a pole to hang on to in this one. That can't be comfy. Bread sounds delicious. What do you... It is delicious. Have you not had bread? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean, Pidgeon. Oh, pain. <laughs> Amberger. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce Amberger in French. Something like that. It's a, it's a German word that English stole in French. Wait, so I know from the usual, like, if I were to go to Moon, it's it's down here, right? Like, this is the, the flooded zone. Uh, but... The geography has changed to the point where I no longer know how to get around in here. Fuck, I hit a neuron off screen. I didn't mean to, Moon. It's hard to throw spears in here without damaging things. Okay, I'd love to go this way. Wait, is that a dead end? Oh, it is. Never mind. Okay. I haven't damaged any of the big neurons, you're right, which is nice. Oh, here we go. Big jump. This music goes crazy. I didn't think they could rival random gods, but this is pretty good. Wait, where am I trying to go? I, I, I don't see anywhere to go in here, except for that one little pipe down there, I guess? This sounds like a Hans Zimmer or something. I see the pipe. Going for it. Wait, this doesn't take me anywhere. What's the point of that? Is there a way to progress in here, or do I exclusively have to go up to the left there? I have to go left, uh... Well, this, uh, wastes a lot of time in this cycle. Even though I have no idea what the cycles mean anymore. The gravity turns off. You mean the zero gravity turns off? The gravity's already off. Uh-oh. 
Here we go. I grabbed the neuron. Wait, I don't need that. Go free. The neuron's probably not supposed to be in here. Can't wait to get to Rivulet and Saint. They're the best. I uh, can't wait either. Ooh, there's just more of this room. Just keep going. You never have enough of weird neuron rooms. Oh no, this is the room. This is the room for sure. Wait, but this is... I came out of where you'd normally get to moon. Is this mirrored or something? Is there still the lore pearl on the other side? Grab a pole, please. That's the block. So normally you'd go down there and moon would be like right here, but this is the other side or something? Yeah, there's no pearl, clearly. Hmm. Oh, here comes the lad. Hi there. I'm stuck between screen transitions. Help. Okay, how do I get to that? Without pissing off the inspector. Ooh, perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Try your hardest. Another shelter. Uh, I can't use that. I'll just have to, uh, forgo it for now. There's more. Okay. Oh, gravity's off. Wait. Is this guy aggro by default, or...? Or just if I eat neurons in the same room. Can I just go underneath? Uh oh. Woo hoo hoo hoo! <laughs> that was sketch. In the hole. He's simply inspecting. They save you from threats? Really? Oh! What? I, I came out. Hey, five pebbles. He's in the background there. You see five pebbles? Um, okay, well, I didn't expect to be outside so quickly. Pebbles is closer? Yeah, I guess he looked bigger from the treetop, so he'd probably be even bigger from here. That's, uh, yeah, NSH or SRS. Bat flies. I'll eat some of those. <laughs> I somehow ate that bat fly as it plummeted to the depths of Tartarus. That was a rock. Fuck me. Ah, I love eating food with my mouth. What is the orange thing in here? Oh, an orange lizard. Goody. Why not? Ooh, funny music. We got something. Some kind of music is forming. Good luck fighting the polycule? What is that? And what do you mean by that? Oh, wonder, you're back. Nice. We're at moon. 
We're mooning out. Um, up here? No. There's nothing up there. Where do I go? Is this a dead end? Uh, right pipe. There's only one pipe. That's the way it came in here. Up. I can't go up. Like, there's nothing up there. Or do you mean this is a pipe? Oh my god. You cannot see that at all. That's fucked up. Like, I would never would have found that if you hadn't given me a hint there. Is that supposed to be a secret? Or is that the actual intended progression? These orange lizards are just body slamming. What's happening? Oh, end of the cycle. Do we get nighttime? Uh, the lizards are coming though. Hi. OMG, hi. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I'm, I'm still alive. I'm still going. I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> that was silly. Why not jump down? I, I assumed it was a death pit. This time I won't waste uh, half of the cycle trying to get in through the way that has no entrance. Let's see if this guy kills me. Hello. Oh yeah, he's not actually that aggro. He reaches out for you, but he doesn't actually do anything. Okay. They throw shit at you? <laughs> that other shelter really is like immediately next to the previous one. There's not really any point pulling any neurons to get that in my opinion. I thought this guy would kill me instantly if I touched him actually, but he's just inspecting. Hello. Yay. Actually, I remember um, th those thingies and five pebbles were uh, green, or like turquoise, the same color as the overseers that he has. Whereas these are yellow, like uh, blues, blue bows overseers. So they have matching color schemes then. It's important to coordinate. Have I been enjoying reading the Discord chats? Oh, of course. It's sort of stuff I could have guessed probably with what I've heard you know, gossiped about on the actual Discord server. Um, basically, I was sent here by Seven Red Suns to tell uh, Five Pebbles to chill the fuck out for a bit and stop killing Moon, please. I think that's what's happening. Um, although, to get to Five Pebbles, for some reason, I'm going to Moon first. I'm not sure if I even have to, actually. Does Bluebo see through those biggies? Maybe, I don't know. These guys are not worth much at all. OK, 
Okay, I remember the same formation on five pebbles, actually. We already have the lizards. Great. Come at me. Pipe juke him. Perfect. Hmm. You won't have to, but pebbles won't give you the mark. So you'd miss out on them baby raging. Oh, you need the mark. Right, I see. I want all the pebbles angst I can get, of course. That's true. <laughs> baby raging. <laughs> it just has a shit fit. Oh, I can't wait. I really can't wait. For the five pebble tantrum arc. Get dead. Nice music out here, though, for sure. Wait. Another one. Piss off. Holy shit, lizards. Give me a break here. At least I'm getting some food. I don't have to eat as many of uh, Moon's brain cells at this rate. Wait, where's this guy going? Oh, that comes out there. Okay. Dude, how many lizards do you need? Too many lizards, game. Too many. It's unconscionable. I'm gonna pipe juke him. Jesus. It's raining lizards. This whole zone is it's raining lizards. Look! It happened again. <laughs> Incredible. Still steady stream viewership. Love to see it. I'm going for 10 hours at this point. <laughs> Grinding, uh... Not grinding on Moon's leg, that's not what I meant to say. Grinding to climb up Moon's leg. Okay. There's a broadcast in here? Oh. Um, there's also a lizard in here, of course, because why wouldn't there be a lizard? Uh oh. Is he gonna come down? Yep. <laughs> Fucking, I knew it. Sh shaking. What's shaking? Fuck. This is a disaster. Wait, I didn't pick up a rock? That was just another spear. There we go. Dead. Not dead. He's still alive. Alive and well. There's eight in this room. Great. the cycle? Yeah. It just turned sort of brown last time. Nothing much really happened. Okay. Iterator balls. I love these. Who knows what they're for? They're balls. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Orange lizards have great AI. They have pack hunting, etc. Yeah. I've heard about their pack hunting ability. 
what part of the alternative physics of Rain World causes it to rain lizards? Uh, I think the fact that there are a lot of lizards is what causes it to rain lizards. Perhaps too many lizards. And not much else. Oh, I know this spot. Wait, this is the way to Chimney Canopy. This can't be the right way. Okay. That's a gap. Can I go up here? It's similar. What, how did I get... Okay, visibility has gone kaput. This is no good. No bueno. Oh, I hear that. Is that the broadcast? Where is it, though? Up. Oh, you can see the, the lightning in the background. You're right, yeah. That's what kills you if you're in the lake at this time of night. On top of her balls. That's where you find it. Okay. What the fuck is it doing up here? I was wondering what was going to happen after I picked it up. Thump. He'll be fine. Outgoing request. Communications manifest. Error. Unable to send. Malformed message header. Source node trace. Looks to the moon root. Looks to the moon commands. Uh, something six. Destination null unknown group. Message contents. If anyone is receiving this message... Problem. I'm not sure what to do. Please respond. That's it? That's it. Last words? Well, no, she's still here. She hasn't collapsed yet. Um, what, orange lizard now? Fuck off. It did, thank you. Okay, how do I... Where am I? Help. She's trying to send that right now. Right, that could be a present message. I was assuming these are all in the past, but there's no reason to assume that, really. Oh, fuck. This is one instance where that downpour setting, where you can take the spears out, really does, uh... Hinder you. I'm trying to spawn more spears while standing on a spear. I survived the polycule. Oh, that's the polycule. I get it. A spear master has it by default. Interesting. Look at the moon in the top middle right of the screen. Look to the moon? I'm already on looks to the moon. I, I can't see it. I simply can't see it from this angle. I'm inside. So this is the other way. This is if I'd like I'd climbed the wall to go see... Uh, what's his name? Five Pebbles. We got the weird dust. We got the cosmic dust zone. Nice. We got the balls of holy ash that definitely aren't balls of holy ash. We've got the uh, little pipe with the pearl that I missed on my initial playthrough. We have even more popcorn bushes. No pearl that I can see. Ooh, there's the moon. Just barely poking out there. No cycle timer anymore. I guess the night never ends? I didn't see the city because I was looking at the ground. No, I can see the city. It's just rather dim. Oh, it looks different too, doesn't it? It looks more blocky. I guess it... part of it collapsed? Is that supposed to be on Moon's back? Like, the actual city is up there. 
Or is this in the distance? There's another city. It just is a different city. On Moon's back. Crazy. Oh, here we are. Okay. Let's see if Moon has different uh, sin murals. Probably not. Probably the same standard issue sin murals. Right. Yeah, there's some line in the pearl about living on the surface is impossible, which I guess just means not living on the iterator's back. That would be what that line actually implies. Oh, there's a better view during the day. All right, I'll go back. It's those green stars that led me to believe Raiden World is different physics, since real stars can't visibly be green. Right. I mean, that would uh, put a kibosh on trying to prove the slug cat's height with, like, the length of radio waves and the antenna sizes or something, right? So much food here. Ooh, that's a nice looking city. I like it. Very picturesque. It does look smaller, yeah, than the one on Five Fubbles Back. They have a big orb? That's where they go and, and have their raves, obviously. They go and have their MDMA rave inside the big ball. <laughs> Maybe that's just like the molasses storage or something. Pondering center. <laughs> they probably do have a pondering center. They're like a, a, a society of cyber Buddhists. Why not have a pondering center? Yeah, that's where they have the intense political debates. That's the one hobby we know that anyone has in this world is like opinion groups. They just get onto Reddit and argue vigorously all day long. Instead of a rec center, they had a pondering center. There was no recreation allowed because it's a sin. Please mount the pile. Every single sapient being in Rain World is a Redditor. I think you could argue that the slug cats are sapient. I don't think they have Reddit though. This is brutally smartopia. <laughs> I haven't seen a Deltarune AU where they uh, birdly just wins yet, that's true. Okay, better lighting on the Sin murals. So as we all know, the uh, the fifth worst karma sin is wanting to be alive. Uh, over here, uh, the fourth worst karma sin is eating too much and being fat. I, I was just there, I, I played the Gourmand campaign. Third worst karma sin is kneeling and playing pat a cake or magic the gathering or perhaps trading, talking, having material wealth. Who knows? Trade, probably. Materialism. Nice shoes, by the way. She's got like Jordans or something. This is, of course, sex. You can tell, kind of, there's a, a suggestion that they might be fucking. Requires a lot of interpretation, though. I'm not sure what those green limbs coming out the back are. A person also has the shoes on. They like their shoes, clearly. Breeding pits, nah! <laughs> The red one has the J's on during sex. And this is violence. Although I still can't really tell what they're doing here. This one is somehow the most abstract of all. Oh, it's stabbing with a spear? There's blood? 
Oh, it has furry green arms. That's why it's so hard to interpret. Oh yeah, there's blood coming out and the spear is going down. I, I get it, I get it. Well, I know a thing or two about stabbing with spears. Oh, it's locked? Do I have to buzz up to the apartment? Moon, can you let me in? That guy had cyberpunk dreads? Oh yeah, he does, sick. Those are pretty cool, actually. I guess I go down here. Whee! Okay, I recognize this. I'm stuck. You saw an artist with a very interesting interpretation of an ancient without a mask. Well, I'd like to see it. Link it in the Discord or something. They do have very silly masks. Ooh! Bisexual lighting room. Hell yeah. Plot twist, they just have bird faces. Yeah. We we're so back. Where's the uh... oh. excuse me? Where's the maintenance access to uh to Moon then? Five Five Pebbles had a convenient maintenance shaft right to his chamber. That sounded um. Where's Pidge? Pidge incoming after that comment. The ancients were a society of birdlies. Kind of literally true, yeah. Okay, unfortunately I think that pitch left the stream. The music is back. Luckily the big blue uh, neurons are immune to spears. Keep going down? Oh. Fuck, I didn't mean to throw that way. Can I pull on the rope? There's an umbilical cord, just pull on it. People ship moon with sliver of straw? One of them is dead, how does that work? This looks like it. Moon. Moon! Hey! Or oh, her robe is orange too. What's up? Beep, beep, boop, boop, bop. She has blue pearls. I'm impressing her with my juggling. She likes that. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Is this like a copy protection symbol? I can do cool backflips. Oh. It's time for brain modification, I think. That was a map of my brain. Oh, five pebbles just had to look at like a, a very basic diagram showing where the brain was. Hello there. Are my words reaching you? Oh, can you put me on the floor, please? I'm stuck. Slug cat. Survivor karma. Oh, stomach, spear holes.
Poor thing, there are no records of your body's blueprints, nor is it responsible to assume your extreme adaptations are possible through natural means. Your body also appears to hold some form of data storage medium within it. Oh, I do have a USB stick up my bum. Brave messenger, what are you? I could read the data contained in your body, but the process could take several cycles. Time I very sadly lack. I could remove the pearl from you, but the process would be very unpleasant for you. I also do not believe the contents within are directed at me. If you are indeed a messenger, then I urge you to move on. We. There is... There is a... A... Oh no. Something very bad. Are you okay? Is she okay? Oh, she's better, she's better. Th there is another like me near here. His name is Five Pebbles. Please hurry to his structure. I am unable to calm him, and his excessive output is causing irreversible damage to my own structure. I do not know how long I, can, I will be able to continue to even, Sorry. I do not know how long I will continue to even stand. I'll do that. There is an elevated cable linking our installations. Crossing that bridge is safer than attempting to scale five pebbles from the ground up. Hurry, little messenger. Okay, I'll, I'll hurry. I'm hurrying. I can't move, though. Can you... Can you, like, eject me or something? Like, I literally can't move. Bye, blue bow. Bye, blue bow. Bye, Blue Bow. Okay. Once again, amazing audio. Yeah, it's pretty... It, it causes some, like, teeth clench in me to hear the Blue Bow distress noises. They're very uncomfortable. Alright. Um, I still don't know how to leave. Up. Alright, I can do up. Um, maybe that gate is open now. Oh yeah, the gate. The gate must be open now. That, that must be it. Oh, the gate stays locked? I can get Moon to read it? No fucking way. Now is not the time to get Blue Boy to read the lore pearls. She, I have to get the message to Five Pebbles. Um. Okay, but lore? Okay, where's the pearl? Is it is it in here or is it outside? A few rooms to the right. All right. Was there a way to the right? I can't remember. Music zone. Oh, there it is. There is some decent speed. We. Oui. 
Lubo has so many pearls in there. It's like, what is she even going to do with more? It's fucked up that all these parts of uh, looks to the moon don't even exist anymore on the other timelines. Like all these neurons and the huge Tetris blocks, like, they're just smashed. Interesting. Obviously, there's no way to really convey just through writing how uh, different her mind state is before and after she collapses, but it's interesting to think about at least. Because theoretically, in the Survivor campaign, you're talking to like 1% of uh, Bluebo. Um, to the right? Inspector is covering up the pipe? Oh. Ten bucks from Avi Meritorselli Enthusiast. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you've already noticed this since I had to leave for a bit, but if you're outside Moon's superstructure when the rain is approaching in this campaign, you can hear her sounding an alarm. I didn't notice that. Really? Like, I, I've only been, um... I never got caught by the rain in the underhang part. I only got caught, well, at the end of the cycle, I, I experienced that on the top, and it just turned to night. Uh, is this guy chill? Oh shit. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. A shelter? Okay. This place in a waterfront and underhang, it's terrifying. Oh god. Inspectors are very funny, I agree. It's the RGB Hydra. That's more like a yellow Hydra. There's not much RGB going on. I wonder where this pearl is. Go down. There we go. Yes, I would like directions to the pearl. This area is a nightmare to navigate. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Oh, this one. If you hold the right, you'll just oscillate forever. It's up and to the right. Okay. Right, so not even in five pebbles was the uh, the gravity unstable in this part. This one had stable zero g. Up, oh, right, right. There's the pearl. That's the yellow one. That's the one that she wrote, right? I'm not sure how, how else it would have gotten in here if she didn't write it. Okay, now I have to navigate my way back. Oh, someone's making pizza rolls and heading off. Alright, I'm not going to stream for too much longer, I think. We're getting toward the end here. I just want to um, give this pearl to Bluebow, find a shelter maybe. And then we can call this a wrap, because it's been six hours. It's a lot of rain worlding. Boink. Yes, rain world is amazing, even though parts of it really suck, kind of. That's a pretty apt summary. 
Rain World's one of those games that like you play despite the fact that it causes you constant pain. Will there be a stream for Sunday? Oh, this is the stream. I never even explained why I was streaming today, I think. I I'm just literally busy tomorrow, so I have to stream today instead. That's it. I have to do a thing. leaving you in the dark to the last second. I don't think anyone asked. Uh-oh. I don't want to hit that. Wait, oh, it didn't help. It didn't help. Can I leave? Please. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 99% of the time you're tiny and scared, then the 1%, the uh, King Vulture gets stuck in a pipe and you shank it to death. Pretty much. That's often how it goes. Getting good at this game is pretty interesting. There's a... Uh, you can get better at it. It's never going to be totally consistent. But you can get a lot better at it. Grab that, yeah, grab it. Here we go, back to Moon. Oh, uh, Moon, I know you told me to go really quickly because you were dying, but uh, I found this lore pearl. Can you read it to me? Basically what we're doing right now. Eh. Thank you for visiting me, but I'm afraid there's nothing else here for you. Ah, would you like me to read this? It's a bit dusty, but I will do my best. Hold on. I'm getting premonitions. Oh, this is one of my pearls. Did you extract this from my memory, Conflux? While I value your curiosity, I would prefer that you don't move things around or steal items from this facility. I try to keep everything as organized as possible, so that I don't forget. I value my data and memories quite a lot. It would be a tragedy to lose them. <laughs> it's a bit on the nose. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I won't do it again, but as for the contents of this pearl, it's a large batch of my personal notes and research. I don't have the time to go over all of this with you, nor do I think it would you would gain much from it. Could you please just put this pearl back where you found it? Oh. I, I don't know what one it was. <laughs> I have no idea which one it was. Um, wait, is it the one down at the bottom? Oh, it is. It's blinking. I guess I should put it back. Oh, no. Okay, now I feel bad for bringing the pearl. I'm just wasting time here. And she's like actively dying. Sorry, Blue Boat. Can you help me to the exit though? Like five pebbles uh, pushed me toward the exit. Should I actually put it back? She asked me to. <laughs> it will also kill you for wasting his time. Right. Uh, you're not wrong. Go down. Go down. Come on. Do it. 
It's interesting that Bluebow is super friendly toward most things, but seems uh, dislike the Ancients. Meanwhile, Pebs has a constant asshole who actually misses the Ancients. Yeah, that is a difference of opinion. Maybe that's what makes Pebbles so angsty, though. Is he still uh, simping for the people that kind of fucked all the iterators over in the first place? Although even Bluebow tries to uh, restrain herself when she starts dissing them. She she has a second thought about that. She's like, well, they, they created me. I can't be that mad, I guess. But she probably didn't really, didn't really mean that, you know. She was just trying to be courteous. Okay, where the fuck did this come from again? Ah, shit. Sorry, sorry. is more of a history nerd than actually liking the ancients. I'm not sure what that means. A history nerd. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, surely anywhere in here is fine, right? Like, I don't even remember where I got this from. I'll just put it next to the, uh, Petrus blocks. <laughs> Why did he throw it that way? <laughs> Sorry, Bluebo. Fuck, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. That was very awkward. She probably just should have not asked me to put it back. It couldn't have gone well. Now you get more of Pebbles' uh, ancient takes in the Artificer campaign, apparently. I keep seeing memes about Pebbles and Artie fighting in his... Uh, his chamber, so I'm guessing there's um, a significant interaction that takes place. Sleep! Yeah, slam dunk. Uh-oh. Wait, that's how to leave Moon? I thought someone said to leave the way I came in. Are you supposed to keep going that way? There was the gate. lead back to the bridge? I don't know what Luna is supposed to mean. The gate. It's still locked. Well, fuck. Luna subregion with uh, the wall and city. You missed it. Oh. 
I guess I'll go back there. Past our sin murals. Is this a new area? Can I go up? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Maybe not. Why is it shaking so much? It's, is it just the structure's collapsing? That's why it's shaking? Let's check the map. I don't know... You can go down. Is there an alternate path here or what? Wait, why would I do the regular pebbles pilgrimage if I there's a new thing? What? No, the alternate path is through where you got the pearl. I thought someone said they both lead to the bridge. Who? I don't understand anymore. Okay, Comedy Salmon up in chat says it doesn't matter if you go through the conflux or back through Luna, both lead to the bridge. Is that true? I don't care if I came in this way. Like, I just don't understand how to get to the bridge from here. Well, I mean, the new rooms are just the memory conflux shit. I've seen that in Five Pebbles. Um, I'm already going this way. Okay, shelter. There's more after memory conflicts. Oh. Oh. Shaking a lot. Holy shit. Is an abstract convergence manifold. I don't know what that is. go. The shelter in conflux is the last one that I rested at. Oh my god, the geometry. Okay, 
here we go. Back on track. So all the way through the memory buckler array here, just barely grazed that. Now it's down here. There's the shelter, there's no point resting there. Where to go next? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just take a random path. Maybe down here. Earthbound cave noises in the background. All right, I have no idea where this is leading. Geometry. Spear ladder, I guess? Hmm. It is faster to move around without uh, the gravity, the zero gravity on. Over there. Um. Ah, fuck. Twice in a row. There we go. Oh, the zappers are off because the power's out. Well, that's nice. For me, probably not for Moon, who's actively uh, dying from that, but... Nice not to have the zappers. Over here, okay. I can go to the other side of the weird turntable room. Into the blue area. Blue bow zone. Oh. Looks to the moon abstract convergence manifold. <laughs> That's an area, alright. Five Pebbles had a recursive transform array, so obviously she's a different kind of thinker. Uh, this just has really long wires that float into the air. It is a cool room. Can I climb that? Oh, it's, it's just a pole. Never mind. Big empty room. Hmm. 
you probably can't get up there without anti gravity. Hmm, yeah, not possible. Without the backward long jump, of course. I wonder if the uh, the day ever comes back. Like, there's no timer for it. But surely the night is of, of finite duration, right? What's buzzing? We're in the fluorescent lighting area. Ah, shit. Night is forever. Odd. Um. Boom. This just takes me down there. means you can't disprove any theory about the cycle being X length of time, <laughs> right? How do I get there? Oh, I see. Say so cycles are quantum, like in Outer Wilds, where if you stop observing them, they immediately end. Probably the best uh, explanation, actually. This feels bridgey. You think? Oh, is this the bridge? This feels like every other part of the iterator superstructures. Is what I would say. I was assuming the bridge would be um, external, like open to the outside world. Mm, can't get up there. Feels iteratory. We lost that bridgey feel. This is the wrong way. Oh. What's the right way? Like, where does this lead anyway? Oh, it's this room. I know that room. All right. Well, I don't want to go back there. Yeah, underhang would kill you instantly, wouldn't it? Want to go down? One room away. From the bridge. Is the bridge up there? Wonder if I can get there. Might be possible. Probably not. Probably not possible. No. Backtrack to the giant empty room, but there was only one way out of that place. Unless I can fly. Because the gravity's on. Here we go. 
I don't need to go to the empty room, apparently. Okay. Um, I could go to the far left side of this room or something. Go left. Okay. Uh, okay. It's possible to go left in here. Top right? Who said left? I, I can't go back up. There's, it's not possible. some direction. The room from the challenge? What, what, what do you mean the challenge? Over here, go down. There might be some way to go down. Oh, and here. That down. Okay, left to right. We got weirdo music. Hi there. Inspector Chan. Down. The other way. Oh. any of this. Where am I? It's just up at this point. Fuck. Do I get there? Oh, it's just, just a pole. Just up. Here. There. There we go. Go down. Cross the gap. Drop up here. Ah, a shelter. I'll take it. Cool shelter. Oh. I wonder why I even need a shelter to sleep in this area, right? There's no rain. I could just sleep on the floor. Um, Euclidean. To be non-Euclidean... I don't know. What, what does non-Euclidean even mean in two dimensions? Can you have two-dimensional parabolic geometry? I guess you can. Or hyperbolic geometry. I guess that's what I'm thinking of. Not parabolic. Ooh, the zappers are back. Uh, 
uh, abstract convergence manifold. We're still there. We're still doing that. Okay, what's in the gate? Am I gonna keep going after this? Not for long, I just wanna see what's next. Okay, there's Euclidean spaces of any positive and in uh into three dimensional uh later character. I'm very tired. Holy shit. I'm in that state where I'm only being, like, sustained right now by just the desire to see what happens. Like, I'm way too tired to be playing this, probably. Oh, there's my, my orange bow back. Ooh, the wall. We're at another spot on the wall, I guess. Have to go down, maybe? Feels exterior -y. Yep, downright exterior. The drop wig is here. I forgot what it was like to have enemies. Easy pull grab. I'd like to see any human try to make that pole grab. Fall from 40 feet, then grab a steel pole to arrest your fall. Fruit are useless. Does the fact that they have fruit here mean that you can come here in some other Slug Cats campaign? Oh wait, this is not the Chimney Canopy Bridge. Huh. In the Five Pebbles version of this room, you could uh, go up top to the popcorn bush. Through uh, a pipe, that is. I think here you just climb up the pole. There we go. It's bridging time. Let's play bridge. Okay, maybe I should go underneath because of the vultures that are definitely going to get me here. Oh, the white lizard. Hi. Hi, white lizard. What you doing? Bye-bye. The very zigzaggy pipe. Oh, I'm supposed to be going through that big boob in the background. I get it. This is the precipice. Oh, the precipice is the left side of five pebbles. Which I guess means that's how I'm entering him this time. The reason there's fruit is for consistency and for co-op expeditions, I see. Ah, there's the, the giant vulture is gonna kill me. I thought it was taking a while to show up. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Um, is he stuck? Is he stupid? Just cross the gap. Just do it. I did not. I did not cross the gap. Everything feels like it's not English. The words that mean abstract concepts are used as proper nouns. Maybe language barrier fries my little pea brain. This the game is very good at feeling non. Uh, what do you call it? Just alien in general. It's nothing feels like you'd expect it to feel, including the language or the names. How do I get up there? There we go. Like, the way the ancients even talk is like these rambling series of honorifics that you can't even interpret at first. There's a couple more 
broadcasts. Maybe if I get one more of those, lend the stream. I'm just sort of looking for a, a milestone at this point. Looks to the moon abstract convergence manifold. Yeah, that's that's a rain world only kind of name. It's just word salad. Hi, Dropwig. Oh wait, I can go down there? Yes, okay. And down here. Word salad vibes for sure. Got back a bit faster that time. Boom. Eat your popcorn. And we're bridging. Is uh, definitely fucking OSHA compliant. Holy shit. Nothing but guardrails. No floor, but you got a guardrail. It's time to bridge the gap. Too true. Okay, just no vultures for a second. I'll be fine, right? Just no vultures. This looks very much like the uh, chimney canopy entrance. It's like very familiar. Just slightly remixed. Seems to be the name of the game with the iterator regions. Imagine the ancients who live in pebbles but work in Moon City going to work every day. Well, they probably had a monorail back then, you know? <laughs> it's a funny thought, though. They seem to like their monorails, judging by the. Uh, the outer expanse area. Boom. Uh, can I make that? Probably. There we go. Wacky music. Oh wait, how do I get across here? Just barely is the answer. Okay, I'm not making that. I have to go up. Oh wait, how'd, I can't get up. Oh, there's the vulture. What's up, vulture? There we go. I can fight the vulture pretty effectively from this vantage point. Cross here is the problem. You're trying to shoot me. You can't do it from there. Oh, there's he has a friend now. Great. They're stuck. Jesus Christ, what are they doing? How did I not Fuck. Okay, they're fucking off. A little bit. I don't think I can make that. Shelter in... in where? Sorry, where are you pointing right now? Iggy equivalent? These guys are fucked.
Oh, just go back. I'll be back to the start. Well, I, I can't get back at this point even, I think. Fuck me. Leave the room till the gravity comes on. Wait. Gravity. Please turn off the gravity. So there must have been an alternate way to go there, but I didn't see it. the karma requirement for the for the gate to go back it's five to get out it's only like one it's one way to get down oh hi drop wig you're late to the party today Keep an eye out for another way to go. It was just like a big linear bridge though, wasn't it? Kind of the point of this area. Like if I stay on top, never mind. That's not happening. Here comes the vulture. Yeah, there's no way to get over over the top this way. That's not possible. Just get into cover before the vulture comes. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, the vulture's trying to fight the lizard, huh? Wasn't really even injured. Uh, hi. Are you. What you doing? You're gonna come down? What's you doing? Oh, that's one way to get some food. Okay, going up there accomplishes nothing. I can't get across. There is a pipe here with a blue lizard in it. Okay, why not? Wait, what? How did I throw both at once? I had two spears. What happened? I had two spears. Well, th this is obviously the way to go. Okay. 
Why does it make you wait to leave this room? What's the point of that? The it, it ate the spear? And it's almost worth getting that second shelter just to skip that opening part. Dropwig, I see you. Okay, good start. Killed the dropwig. Oh, no, he's still going. They're dead. Oh. Get down pretty damn fast if you want. Lubo 2, the lizard. Okay. The lives of two creatures claimed so far. Are the spears sticky? Oh, definitely. They're really gross. Bum, 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 bum. Brahms lullaby or something. Okay, instantaneous vulture syndrome. Ah, uh, throwing the spear dislodges you. It dislodges you. God damn it. Wait, if you don't grow the spears, it might be time to get out before the gravity turns off. Aha, that's the trick. If you don't stop to generate spears, you have time. Imagine pooping out a spear as tall as you are. I'm not going to, if you can ask, but I won't imagine it. Big long walk. Top 10 things to not shove up your ass. Number one, six foot long slug cut bone spear. Oh, yeah, yeah, drop wood, gotcha. Excuse me. What? Pick the bomb, I guess? For good measure? Just in case I need it, you know. Good to have a bomb. Maybe a vulture will like the bomb. Uh, oh, this isn't good actually. I don't have a second weapon. Luckily, I killed it with one spear. Nice. Okay, put it down. Where'd drop would get a bomb? Oh, found it. Made one. Maybe they're hyper intelligent, who knows? The bomb definitely will get me killed, but. Um, I seem to be getting killed anyway. I have to get down there. Ooh! Here's what the bomb's for. I threw it the wrong direction. Of course I did. Of course. What the fuck was that throw?
get wrecked. Oh, that was not a mouth throw. Okay, he's running away. You want to see a drop wig spawn with a colored lore pearl. It wrote it itself. The blue bow's like, oh, this was written by a local drop wig. It talks about how good slug cats taste. Fuck. Oh, that was almost disastrous. I thought it was walking on a pole, but I was standing on the top of a vertical pole. They're completely different actions. Not even remotely similar. Shelter or vulture? I didn't see what the symbol was. Iggy. The drop book would write about its YouTube gaming channel. <laughs> yes. Uh, though I think Five Pebbles is likely to have a monopoly on the YouTube gaming channels at this point. Again. Again. I was standing on top of the vertical pole, not the horizontal pole. That's all it takes. Oh my god. Big lag spike at the start of the area. Wait, the gravity. Is that on a global cycle? When's the gravity come on? There we go. At this point I'm determined to get to something. I'm a VTuber, but the image is just a low quality uh, PNG of a perch drop leg. <laughs> if something exciting happens, it drops. And like, I guess that's it, like it doesn't come back for the rest of the stream. That's the whole gimmick. Very cool. Why can't I slide in here? The sliding is fucked up. Okay, drop wig. Classic drop wig moment. Is that another fucking bomb? Well, I gotta. Hello there. <laughs> How did I do that? What did it even hit? You just end the stream. You should just end the stream. I don't even know how long the uh, the next shelter is from here. Bombs do no damage except to yourself? What's the point? Ah, uh, fuck me. God, I'm tired. Okay. Yeah, stream is ending. That's it. <laughs> no more stream. I'm gonna read the art. Look at the art. See the art. Whatever. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's not stream, that's not stream, that's not stream. What the fuck is this? That's stream. <laughs> this is cursed immediately. Um, okay, Firefox. What is that? It's a Tesla Spearmaster slug cat. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, first off, this one is by Caps Lock, a new member to the Discord server. Theorize about how the rain falls so hard it kills you. 
The atmosphere is really dense, but it falls from really high. So when it hits a dense atmosphere, it heats itself up. <laughs> That's not even my theory. That was wonders. I just recited it from what I understood. Why is that such an eerie face on that slug cat? It's horrible. It's so uncomfortable. I hope Wonder's still here. This one's basically fan art for her. It's not even me at this point. It makes perfect sense if you don't think about it at all. <laughs> God, that's funny. Okay. What else do we have? We have some more normal fan art from AST. A bunch of skugs. We have a survivor. We have a couple spear masters, a rivulet, five pebbles looking grumpy. Grumpy fucking wumpkins. Another spear master and looks to the moon. Lovely. The the rowdy gang. Ooh. Weepy. Um this is not for the stream, but it's RAM fan art, so I guess I'll show it off. That's a deadlift about to punt you. Love to see it. And that one is by Skeletal Bozo. That's a bunch of simmy stuff. Okay, here's Outsin. With a... A few vignettes. Oh no, he's humanized the Tesla in response to my, uh... <laughs> the, the photo of me yeeking out. That's a very uncomfortable fusion, actually. Why are you streaming Raiden World at 4 a.m.? Because I lost control of my life. <laughs> oh wait, there's some users in the background. Wait, who are those? I see a Mel. I think that's a Wonder in the bottom. Uh, who's on the top left there? What is that? I'm not sure what this thing is. Or what this thing is, necessarily. Unless, um, OJD? Oh yeah, that's a mouth. I, I, I couldn't interpret it as JD for a sec. Yeah, Doc, maybe. Regan, maybe that's Outsin himself. I was confused because JD hasn't been watching the, the recent streams. He probably watched some of the earlier ones. Is Roy bottom left? That's just like a blob. It could be Roy. I don't know what Roy looks like. That's supposed to be Doc, okay. Uh, and here we have uh, NSH and SRS that are just Israel and Pizza Pets. <laughs> Is this one of the three worlds that was canon to LTSI? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have told Five Pebbles to kill himself. Oh no, wait, that's the other way around. Maybe I shouldn't have told Five Pebbles to kill himself. Now what's bothering you, Azzy? I read it the manga style. I read it backward. Those are excellent designs. <laughs> and if I have no mouth, then I must shit sticks. <laughs> A reference to the cover of that one novel by that one guy. Another one. <laughs> Those are very good. Classic outs and bangers. The closeness to me, despite being the Tesla caricature, is really funny. I mean, I think that basically is just Tesla with, like, flesh skin color instead of gray. I don't really think that's any different than how Otsin normally draws Tesla. Oh, that's very good. Okay, there's more. Okay, more from AST. Iterator Gaster. Have we seen an Iterator Gaster before? I'm not sure. Six misheard intervals. Oh, this was being talked about on the, the stream. I remember this. Six misheard intervals. There's actually only, uh, how many? Three intervals? But six is the Gaster number, so that works. Um, 
Can look can would look like core. Cutscene art style doesn't translate well. We have a uh, the antenna go up and down like um that one is that disaster pieces logo has antenna like that? I forget. One five six four three two. This is like a ref sheet. I'm not totally sure how to read this, but it is indeed a gaster iterator. A gaster iterator. Oh, and this is swaps to the spider. <laughs> the the first um iterator to be featured in RAM, of course. Uh, okay, we got more from Cobalt E27. Quite a lot. Okay, we have, um, <laughs> it's drawing the Tesla. <laughs> That's good. As good as the Rain World style is for painting, I wanted to practice lines the stream, so just pretend Spearmaster is drawing all of these. Uh, the, um, B rot, the brain rod is terminal. What is he typing? Oh, what the fuck is he saying? Guys, it's me, Pebbles, something, Lee, wait, favorite joke back, I, I Jane, to say that I never did anything wrong, <laughs> and every... It's really hard to read. <laughs> I'm sure it's funny though, fuck. What's good? I've gotten a mouth and enough spears to kill God. Well, by definition, infinite spears probably would kill God. <sighs> I'm yawning a lot, sorry. So the messenger... So the messenger needs to reach pebbles, but Skugs are weak as hell, so what am I to do? Naturally, I made it pull spears out of its ass, which it uses to suck the life out of whatever it encounters. Any questions? I think NSH has some questions. That's very well done, uh, line art, though. Ah, shit, here we go again. This one is from... Yellowful Bozo. <laughs> Spearmaster and uh, Pebbles sharing the blunt. You got mail. You got mail. Your master drawing some RAM fan art. Why he purple though? Maybe that's just uh, SRS's favorite color. It contrasts well with the yellow color scheme. It's a cigarette holder, yeah. Okay, this is from VT Holmes. First up, we have Spearmaster drawing some Azzy pants. It's the light of a lantern. Very nice. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten some more Azzy pants dialogue to read before the end of the stream. Oh well. What is that noise in the background? I think that's Bluebo's uh, Transformers or something. Just kind of going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, okay, that he doesn't have a mouth, so you need the spear to suck the weed smoke out. It makes perfect sense. And this is a uh, blue bow, <laughs> full of spiders. <laughs> the, the most blorbified blue bow ever drawn. There's yet more. Uh, by Lilac Weather. This is Muffet and blue bow in a spider exchange here. <laughs> You bring the goods, you bring the gold. Why does Bluebo want gold? I'm not going to question this. <laughs> you got to get the spiders somehow. Wait, th this is the word salad. Very abstract fan art by Lilac Weather. 
I think that's the last piece of stream art. Abstract converges manifold looks to the moon. Very good. Where are the raspberries in a salad along with tomatoes? Raspberries and tomatoes and grapes? The fuck? And an egg? What kind of salad is that? Oh yeah, Muffet should have been treating water right. <laughs> that would have made sense. Holy shit. Okay, that's the end of the art. Very good. I'm very tired. I need to eat. Uh, okay. It's good to stream more Rain World. I'm glad to be back to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream... Um, the next stream is going to be this or not. I'm probably going to... At some point, I'll figure out when to do a dev stream. But on Sunday next week, I'll probably be back doing Rain World. I think that's a safe bet. And uh, that said, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.